No, hi, Shen. You're looking at a very sexy woman rubbing her hands on some balls. Actually, yeah, this is quite the scene to be looking at if you don't understand what's going on or the characters. I didn't really think about that. Yeah, I guess this does look really weird. I can, like, change the camera angle a little bit to be better. There we go. So now my face isn't covering up the ball rubbing. <laughs> you know why she's rubbing them like that? Of course. Of course you know why. is not fine. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, she's summoning the sex demon. That's what you do here at this bar. It's kind of great, actually. Holy shit, finally. I've been having a lot of- oh wait, wrong. I've been having a lot of problems with my lights. They just don't want to go on lately. So, yeah, oops. Ah. Uh, <sighs> anyway. Shen, thank you for the 29 months. Uh, it's hi, Jin. Thank you for the prime as well. I appreciate it. <sighs> Is it appropriate to scream right now? <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> we high pay. excited about the persona port it's coming everywhere everywhere pc switch ps5 xbox ah <laughs> so excited <laughs> oh my god i knew it was coming i knew it was coming i had zero doubts about the port uh the port for the switch alan thank you for the 24 months i appreciate it Ah, thank you, you're the best. Ah. Wait, you bought a PS5 to play P5R? Well, now you have a PS5. You're gonna be able to play all the other cool games that happen on there, because you know that, like, I don't know, Final Fantasy 16 will probably be a PS5 exclusive. Guarantee, I guarantee it. Uh, also, like, part two of Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Those are exclusive. There's a lot of, like, good exclusive PS5 games. I doubt you're gonna regret that decision. I know, that's two whole years, Alan! Holy shit, it's a long time. Ah, uh, I'm actually particularly excited about the ports that are coming on the Switch because um, after playing 13 Sentinels and how well that ran on the Switch, I'm, I'm actually really excited to see how they optimize these games for the Switch. Because that game was beautifully ported. That was such a good fucking port. So, yeah, I have zero doubts for how well these will run. Because uh, their track record is only one game. But, like, that track record is really good right now. <laughs> I might buy it on everything. Like, I might buy the game on, like, PS5, my Switch. Maybe my PC if I can get a better PC soon. Uh, my PC is dying. Um, yeah, I don't have an Xbox, though, so I'm not buying that. <laughs> ah, the other, I was really surprised to see Nier on that, uh, partner showcase. I never really expected Nier to be ported on the Switch. Holy shit, that was insane. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm telling you, like, I sincerely think that a Persona 3 remake is going to be announced at the concert in October. I am like full blown convinced and nobody can tell me otherwise. Nobody. Nobody can rain on my parade. 
no amount of people doubting me is going to change my mind. Like, I am so convinced that it is happening and it will be announced in two months. <laughs> oh, three months, three and a half months. <clears throat> like the legend Akikiko says, I've been waiting for this. It's a crystal theory. That means you can believe it. It's 200% going to happen now. <laughs> it's an official theory. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, Persona 6 is not going to be announced this year. I'm, I don't know. I'm just very doubtful. If we get anything on Persona 6 at the concert, it's going to be like what they did for Persona 5, where they just showed like a picture. It's going to be that. I have a feeling it's just going to be like a picture. No trailer or anything. I doubt it, doubt it, doubt it. JPEG announcement all the way. <clears throat> It's too early. I still think it's too early for P6. The concert, I think, is the same weekend as TwitchCon. So October 6th through the 8th, or no, October 7th and 8th. Are those Saturday and Sunday? They have two days for, they have two days, two nights of concerts. And that's where they do like their big announcements, like their game announcements. So, oh, you're not going to TwitchCon? I'm going to TwitchCon. <laughs> oh! Confirmed. Shen doesn't want to see me. I see how it is. <clears throat> but yeah, maybe like the color scheme will get announced. I don't know. Like, we might hear something on Persona 6, but I doubt it's going to be a trailer. I will genuinely be very, very, very surprised if we get a trailer for it. I'm just, I'm really convinced it's not happening. <clears throat> Crystal. I was wondering if you were planning on playing Amori as it came out on console recently. I know you have a yes. lot on your plate. Oh my god, I like the timing amazing. of the donation alert. Like something you'd like. And then the dummy done it. Perfect timing. Um, thank you so much for the five dollar donation. Uh, and Aaron, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. Um, yeah, wait, uh, yes, I do want to play Amori, and, uh, yes, I, I don't know when I'll be able to play it. I actually might be able to within the next month, because I do have, like, a little bit of time. Um, between now and October, like, for Soul Hackers 2 release, so I have to play Soul Hackers 1, which I think I'm gonna play next, and then Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is coming out in July. I think I'll have time to play Amori as well. I, I actually am thinking about playing it and squeezing it in in between now and Soul Hackers 2 release. Also, um, yeah, I don't know how, like, the Twitch cons are for EU. I, 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 like, I legit, I'll be honest, like, I wasn't a huge fan of going to TwitchCon the one time I went in Long Beach. That was, like, five years ago? Four years ago. Five, five years ago, I think, I went. And then I moved to Canada and I couldn't. But, like, uh, I mean, I go a lot, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I go a lot for the business side of it because there's a lot of really good shit at TwitchCon. I like seeing my friends, like, that was really cool. Oh, I'm so excited. I got to, like, see a ton of my friends at TwitchCon. And now I have even more friends over the five years that I've been streaming. So I like, I like, I just like seeing my friends hanging out with my community. TwitchCon itself is ass, but like those two things really do it for me. And then the business side. Oh, you went to the Long Beach one? Of course you did. <laughs> we went to MAGFest together. We went to TwitchCon together. It's never, you know, we, that was before we met. <laughs> this is so sad. Um, but yeah, also the business opportunities. I remember getting a lot of business opportunities when I went because like the companies that go there are like obviously they look to work with streamers and yeah, uh, I would like to, I don't know, I've thought about it. I was like, eh, you know, I'd like to work with Elgato. I think it's about time. And I know that they go, so like maybe I could coerce my way. Uh, Adam, thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate it. But yeah, working with uh, businesses is another big thing at TwitchCon that I like doing. <clears throat> I don't know when I'm playing Bloodborne. I still have to play Elden Ring. <laughs> Maybe, uh, cause like Bloodborne's a really long game, right? It would be a long playthrough. It would probably, it depends. I, I'll try, I'll try to play Bloodborne. 
I know Elden Ring is really is gonna be a lot longer. Uh, I'll play Bloodborne when it gets ported to PC. How about that? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> so never. <laughs> No, I'm playing Bloodborne. I'm just giving y'all hope that it'll come to PC eventually. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait, can I talk about other game announcements? Okay, okay. Uh, I know this is like a tangent, sorry. Uh, but like, a, a short, a, a, not a long time ago on stream, we were talking about like really old PC games, like point and click adventure type games. And y'all were talking about Monkey Island to me at the time. I saw that at the direct. Is it like the same thing, Return to Monkey Island? Is it like that same game that we were talking about that's like ye old PC game? Um, I, I, I wasn't sure if that was like the same thing or not. Is it a sequel to that old ass game or is it like being remade or? I, I, I don't, I'm not sure what that was because I'm not familiar with like the original Monkey Island. <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. This is so scary. I found your channel while looking for a P5R playthrough and I Aww. loved watching your VODs. I wish I could stick around for your streams, but it's midnight in Australia. However, I wanted to pop in to say thank you so much for the hours upon hours of quality. Y'all are so sweet. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, uh, thank you for the seven dollar donation, and I hope you have a good night in uh, over in Australia. Holy crap! Thank you. Go fucking cry. I don't know why. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I don't know no, why I still have sweet. this alert. <laughs> I forget to change it. I wanted to change the donation Ooh. alert to whatever game we were playing. Can't wait to play Persona mm -hmm. 3 Portable on a portable device. <laughs> I know! Thank you, la, 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 la. thank you so much for the seven months. And Shayna, thank you for the ten months. I really appreciate it. <laughs> ah! Okay, so the one, the Return to Monkey Island is a sequel, but how do I play the original game? Now I gotta play the original Monkey Island and I don't know how. Is it like on GOG or something? Because GOG typically has those like really old games on there. I know it's like really old ancient game, but like I still would like to stream it. It can't be that long. I don't know. I, I really like those old retro games a lot. So I would be down for playing it and then playing the return to Monkey Island. <clears throat> oh. Upscale by 200%, dude. I'm also really nervous about all the modding because like I feel like the modding community is just gonna rip Persona a new asshole every game. I'm kind of scared about what they're gonna do there. <laughs> um, Monkey Island has been ported to modern systems. It's on PS3 and PS4 too. Wow, real? I didn't know that. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's play an old retro game. I know. I was just... There's always people that are going to complain. Even if these three games are coming out on literally every console now, people are still going to complain. <clears throat> yeah, Persona with mods. Scary. Oh boy. Yeah, the modders are still busy with the 7 remake. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Oh, October 21st, here I come. I'm so excited, too. Like I said, I am planning... I, I, like, I don't mean to hype this up, but I'm gonna hype it up. <laughs> like, I am planning my biggest video I have ever done for the release date on October 21st. Like, it. this video... Okay, I'm not even shitting you. This video is so big that I'm doing that it's going to take a full four to five days to produce it. Like, I have to be filming the video for four to five days. It is an insane project. 
So I will have to take probably a whole week off stream just to film this fucking video. If that gives you any inclination for what I have planned. I really hope that you guys like it because it's something that I absolutely I will lose a lot of you. time and, and money on, but like, it's a project that I really want to do. Oh, Brox, thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a huge video. Ah, I'm just really hoping it turns out as well as it is in my head right now. It's so hard because like the, the video is so vivid in my head for the plan that I have. And of course, like, executing it and also uh, talking to my videographer about it and like trying to correctly portray my vision to him is also <sighs> it's hard it's hard to exactly say what i want to do and achieve with it but oh <gasps> i'm just really hoping that it turns out i'm planning so october 21st that, that video will come out ah But yeah, anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brox, again. I appreciate it. Uh, we're probably getting P5R first, because uh, that's like, I consider that basic marketing. P5R is by far their best title. Well, I shouldn't say best, most popular. It's their most popular title. That people, it made Persona go more mainstream than it ever was. So putting out the iconic thing first is better. <clears throat> I think it I think of it like that. Oh, putting a proper difficulty on Persona 5. That's not bad. Uh, that would I would actually like that. I've never The thing is, I have literally never modded a game in my entire life. Persona 5 might be the first time I ever get into modding. <laughs> I have never modded anything. Nada. Zip. I have just played vanilla ass games my entire life. Would you recommend the Persona Q games? I think they are cute. Like, I think if you are a big Persona fan and you enjoy the characters, the interactions in them are really precious. Uh, was it? I, I really personally enjoyed Q a lot more than Q2, but they both are really good. I would say if you're like they're catered toward like you know if you if you really are a fan of the games. Otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> They are really enjoyable. I, I personally did really enjoy them, so like, I would say yes. <clears throat> I want to try, like, whatever mods that people come out with, I would like to do some YouTube videos covering that. Like, I, I absolutely would. So, he hello out there, modding community. Hit me up. I would love to check it out and make some content on it. <laughs> is vanilla your favorite ice cream filling? No, it's chocolate. I'm the other basic bitch. <laughs> Want a mod so you can be a rat form the whole game? I would love to be a rat the whole game. That's fantastic. Wait. Wait, I don't get it. The only P5R mod that I need is to have Ryuji's No Mo Rules shirt change the N to an H. Home, oh, Homo Rule. Oh, that took me so long to understand. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Ooh, recreating P3 and P4 on a P5 engine? That sounds really cool. That does sound really, really cool. Emo Nanako mod? Oh god, no. Uh, 
The rat part is the worst part. I love being a rat. I would totally play Persona 5 rat the game. <laughs> I would love to. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, if they have a mod where you can date any of the guys. Joker's by and we all know it, all right? Like, come on. Let me date, like, Yusuke. Let me date Ryuji. Maybe not Morgana. Let me date Akechi. Let me date all the guys. That's the real mod that I need. I'd probably go for Yusuke first. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Dating your own cat's weird. Yeah, it's a it's a little weird. <laughs> maybe maybe not Morgana. Although you can't, you don't really have like a proper uh, confidant with Morgana anyway, so it's not something you can do. I love Yusuke too. <laughs> You know what's weird is after we had the Persona 5 partner tier uh, ranking video that we streamed last week, after doing that, uh, it made me love Yusuke like 10 times more again. Like my love for Yusuke just came back like a punch to my face. I don't know why. I love his dancing style. I love the way he like did his partnering with everybody. So now I'm just like on a Yusuke high again. <laughs> I love him now more than ever. Best partner. Yeah, besides Joker, obviously, but yeah. Yusuke for the win. You're playing Strikers on your Switch right now. Hell yeah! Actually, wait, I totally forgot that Strikers was on the Switch. It runs pretty decent, doesn't it? Wait, does it? Wait. Was Persona 5 Strikers on the Switch? Yeah, it was. Holy shit. I can't remember anymore. Wait, yeah, I literally have it on my Switch. It's pretty fine. I liked it. <clears throat> oh, yeah! I also thought SMT5 run on the Switch as well. Anyway, so case in point, I, uh have no doubt that these ports are going to be well done on the Switch. Joker has a lower average score than Yusuke. Wow! So y Yusuke is best boy then. Alright, alright. long loading times. I don't know how you avoid long loading times on the Switch with, like, any game. I've, I don't think I've had a game run on the Switch where I didn't have long loading times, but as far as, like, the game running itself, seems fine. Strikers, yes. Strikers does run better than Hyrule Warriors, but I don't know if that's saying much, because Hyrule Warriors really didn't run that well. Neither did, like, Fire Emblem Warriors. I played the original. I didn't play Three Hopes yet, but, yeah, Fire Emblem Warriors and, yeah, the Warriors games are a bit rough. It, it chugs. <laughs> like, trying to load, like, 500 enemies on a map, they're like, I'll give you 10. <laughs> Here's 10 enemies, you'll see. <clears throat> oh! I didn't even think that. You were worried that there would be cloud versions. I wouldn't think that at all, no. I highly doubt they would do something like that. Wait, I'm dumb. When you say Three Hopes is bombing, is that good or bad? Because that can go both ways. Three Hopes is bombing, like, it's bombing, it's good, like, or Three Hopes is bombing as in, like, it's exploding because it's so bad. Like, I don't, I don't know if that's good or bad. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how Automata's gonna run. I'm curious to see that. I'm not gonna replay Automata, but, like, 
I will probably watch other people play it on the Switch and see how it runs. It's bopping? Okay. Yeah, I was watching Max play Three Hopes on Saturday to see if I wanted to buy the game, because y'all know I'm not too crazy about Three Houses. I still don't know. I mean, it, it convinced me more to get it. So I might get Three Hopes and play it on vacation or something, but... Mm. Yeah, the direct happened. Another game that was like really cute on there, uh, that game that was called Blanc. I want to play that game with Dom. It looked really, really cute, like a good co-op game. I might pitch it to him. We can play it together. But that game looks so cute. Oh, I didn't know that Automata sold 6.5 mil. Noise, noise. I guess we got near Replicant quite recently. That was like, what, a year ago or two? I played it on stream, but I don't remember when it came out. But it wasn't a new game. That was just like a remake. <laughs> Same. I'm looking forward to buying Persona 5 again. Uh, <laughs> you know what I might ask Atlas? <laughs> Because I know that they'll give me copies of the games, but they're going to ask me, like, you know, what console do you want the games on? Maybe they'll... Maybe I could be like, hey, so can I have a code for every console? Because <laughs> I don't know what I would play it on, honestly. Maybe, like... Maybe my PS5? I don't know. Maybe my Switch? I don't fucking know. I'll just ask them if I can have them all. I don't know. I truly do not know what I would play it on. Like, there's merits in PC, there's merits in the Switch, and then there's merits in the PS5. I don't have Xbox, so... <laughs> just say yes. <laughs> yes. I just want games. Yes. Just... <laughs> well... What I could do, instead of being greedy and asking them for all of them, I could just ask for one version and then buy the other consoles myself. PC for mods? Yeah, I will eventually have to do the PC for mods, but my PC is currently still very pee pee poop. Wait, do you mean Strikers? Or PS5 for your PS5? I'm assuming you mean Strikers. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm just really excited. Oh man, it's a good day to be alive. I am just, I'm happy, and, uh, I have no words. It's happening. It's getting ported. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Do I play it all again? Do I play the game for, like, a fourth time? No, I probably shouldn't. But, like, I'm curious at how the game runs. <clears throat> yeah. Oh my god, King Goomba. No comment. <clears throat> Comparing different versions? I mean, I could, yeah. I'm not like that kind of YouTuber, though. Like, there are definitely other YouTubers that will buy each copy and give you like a frame by frame, like the difference between the consoles. 
other is people do that. Is your opinion on which Persona game is the best for story, <laughs> characters, and premise still the same? I've said it many times. Uh, Persona 5 is my favorite overall game. Uh, Persona 3 has my favorite theme that hits the hardest for me. Uh, and Persona 4 has my favorite characters. But like on an overall scale, story-wise, Persona 5 is the best ride. So I, I love each of them for different reasons. I didn't even notice that P4A had more variety with subtitles. That's really cool. Yeah, I hope they do that. This also got me into thinking. Um, I wonder, I would, I'm very interested in like some statistical things because I like data reading. Um, I wonder the difference. Okay, so like, imagine the money difference. If you have P5R initially comes out, it's a PS4 exclusive, right? And then it gets a resurgence with all these port releases on October 21st. So what would be the difference in having two waves of popularity run up with the game whenever you're porting it at a second time? Or what would happen if Persona 5R is released initially on everything? So it wasn't released on PS4 but it was initially released on everything at the start. I, I do wonder about that marketing. It's like, if you release it all at once on everything at the start, you're not going to get like that second wave again. You have no reason to like bring your game back to life in the future. Hmm. But like the second wave could potentially bring in more money. You also don't get people to buy it multiple times like people will now. Yeah, there's that too. There's a lot of factors that go into that kind of data, but I am genuinely curious if it is more profitable to make a game exclusive and then port it later. Hmm. That's true, though. That's true. Yeah, yeah. The, they did get a resurgence with Joker, like, coming out on Switch. Uh, sorry, on Smash. For a Smash character. That's true, they did have that, but it's just, I'm just saying it's rare that a game gets a second wave if they initially launch on all consoles. That's also true. It's an, it's an interesting stat to me. Oh, like a dragon! Yeah! That one wasn't exclusive, you're right. I don't know. I personally don't mind having exclusives. It's a, it's just something that never really bothered me, but I also understand that it bothers a lot of people whenever you only have the money to have one thing. Like, some people can only have a Switch. Some people can only have a PS5. I know I'm fortunate that, you know, I have a Switch, PS5, and a PC that I can play on. I have everything but Xbox. Um, but not everybody has that same luxury, right? So, like, I get that. Dude, it makes me sad that Yakuza games don't sell that well. I will... Me and Shen will do it together. We'll just make Yakuza the most banging video game in existence. It deserves so much more love. <laughs> it deserves so much. Yeah, that's fair. Most people, I feel like, have a PC more than anything, and yeah, consoles. Consoles are very expensive. Oh yeah, Ray. Ray also does a lot of Yakuza stuff too. I've never played the Portal games. Oh, you just finished this game. Nice. We will get to it. I swear. 
Mama is just sitting here, waiting. <laughs> oh, yay! The first thing you're gonna do is buy Yakuza 0 and 5. Nice! Yay! Play the games are so great! <laughs> Battle network connection. I or collection rather. Uh let me see. I did actually update whenever like state of plays happen or Nintendo Directs happen, I always update my games list and I add the games I want to play that appear in these things, I add them to my list. So I added Blanc. I added, I added like three games. What did I add? Oh, that um, that murder detect, uh, murder mystery game, Lorelei and the Laser Eyes. I added that one. That one looked really interesting. Lorelei and the Laser Eyes. Also added, I added Sonic Frontier. Oops, I forgot to put that on my list. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I, y'all can doubt on a Persona 3 remake all you want. You can buy off of my energy if you wish. You can buy off of my hope. My hope will never die. I think it's coming in October. Uh, what else did I have? Oh, I think it was just those three games. I added Blanc, Lorelei, and the Laser Eye, and then Sonic Frontier. So those are the three games that I added from this direct on my list. <clears throat> hopium? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm passing off my Hopium to all of you. Like, okay, you have to think. With the Persona concert... Actually, you know what? Let me ask you guys. Since... The Persona concerts are known to have big announcements. That's where they do their biggest announcement. So just think that these ports happening are not their biggest announcement for the year. So what do you think that they will announce at the concert? What do you personally think? It can be Persona 5 Arena, Persona 6. What do, what do you think they're going to announce? Because me, I think it's a Persona 3 remake. That's my, that's what I think. Oh, P2 acknowledgement. Okay. I would also hope for that. I don't think it's going to happen yet, but I, I do think it'll happen eventually. You. I think the Persona 3 remake is coming. <clears throat> Just remove Genji from it. <laughs> Chris laughed. Thank you for the 100. P6 Royal. P6 title card. P6 100%. Okay. Persona Q3 featuring the main cast of Yakuza. Get out of here. Persona 5 Arena. P5R anime. That's not bad. That's I totally forgot about that. Yeah, they might do a P5R anime. They never did, huh? Hopefully it's nothing like the P5 anime. You know what? That's that's not bad. More Persona 5 spin-off. Ooh, a P5 racing. Oh my god. Interesting. Okay. P5 Arena with rollback opium. I'll hope for you. In a catchy game? Oh, I'm pressing a lot of F to doubt on that. As much as I, of course I would love that. Persona 5 Karaoke! Oh! But that's literally the dancing game, so that's their rhythm game. Persona 7, not Persona 6. Oh my god. <laughs> Persona 5 Cooking Simulator! <laughs> Joker's Kitchen. Except th that was in Strikers, though. I guess it's not like a cooking simulator, but like... P5 Horror Game. Where you play as Makoto. <laughs> Yeah, I would I would personally love a P5R anime. Mm. 
for real is a system? What do you mean? Persona and Fire Emblem. My two favorite series? Hello? <laughs> oh, you want to play as Theo? Aww. Persona 4 cooking game where you play as Yukiko and Chie! <laughs> I don't think that their big announcements would happen. Sorry, let me rephrase. The big announcements that would happen at the concerts, I don't think that they would be a lot of there would be a lot of spin-off type stuff. Maybe. Maybe. Trying to catch everybody, what everyone's saying, sorry. Oh, could you imagine you get to play as like, oh, 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 oh. imagine a game where you like play as Nato and Akechi, dual duo protagonists working together to solve cases. Oh, oh, alternate universe. Oh, oh. Murder mystery game where you switch between tag teaming between the not so and catchy. I would kill for that. That'd be so cool. It would literally never happen, but that would be so cool. heard that with Persona 6. You're on Copium? Now I need to read some fanfics. Oh, no. Uh, only read the good ones. I think the biggest fanfic I ever read with Persona 5 was uh, Marigolds. I know that that one's really popular. Crystal Love. That's a that's a good one. I know I think it's still going. I haven't kept up with it in like over a year. But Marigolds is a good read if anybody needs a recommendation. It's hella long though. It's like fucking last I checked it was like 400k words. <clears throat> Cecil, thank you so much for the 19 months. I appreciate it. <laughs> Which means more fanfic. I like how you guys are getting to, like, the core thing that will happen with these ports. More Persona fans, more fanfics. Gaming. Oh, that's nice. Persona 5 Strikers rewrite fanfic, but with a catchy. Oh, 600k now. Holy shit. But it's a good read. Just saying if you can... It took me like... Because I don't have that much free time. So I think catching up with Marigolds a year ago, whenever it was at like 400k, that took me like... I want to say five months to catch up with. But it was worth it. It was, it was worth it. It's a good start. Shout out to that writer. <laughs> Hmm. Oh my god, that would never happen. <laughs> we can only dream. Someone make a fanfic of that. A million words, dude. I think by the time that Marigold is done, it's gonna have a mir of uh, like a million words. I'm pretty damn sure. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, I wish I had the time to read more fanfic. Not gonna lie. I 
I'm the protagonist. Oh, I still need to make that video. I want to make a video completely predicting everything about Persona 6. Every, every character that, every playable character, the whole eight cast, assuming there's going to be eight people, probably. Uh, the storyline, the theme, uh, the god uh, that you fight at the end, of course, because you got to have a god. I will, I will make a video completely theorizing the entire game before a trailer is even released. Before anything, before we see anything. So I got to do it before the concert as like a just in case they announce like anything about Persona 6 at the concert. I'll make sure to do that video beforehand. <laughs> Which character will have dead parents? All of them. <laughs> Dramatically read fanfiction on stream. You know what? That does actually sound like a good, fun stream to have. Y'all can recommend me, like, short fanfics to read that might be, like, really questionable. You can send me bad ones. You can also send me good ones. But I would totally be down for exploring the fanfic realm more on stream. <clears throat> if you want art visuals, you know where to call me. Oh my god. I already feel bad that I'm making you do so much work. Considering the amount of shit you still have to do, like... I feel bad, I'm like, oh man, Lena has to like keep up to all my current shit, but at the same time I need to like backtrack to all of my old playthroughs. Woo, a lot of work. Which character will be traumatized? All of them. <laughs> yes. Uh... Well, obviously, I'm not going to read, like, a explicit... Actually, what's the rating we could go to? I think I'd, it'd have to be, like, teen rating to read it on stream appropriately. Even some matures are uh, not good for the Twitch realm. You love doing it? Oh, okay. <laughs> as long as you love it. <laughs> Super exclusive, super cool, and super amazing Discord. Oh, thank you. I will make sure to check it out. Wait, there's a Shoko Nadami and Sonic the Hedgehog fanfic. Excuse me. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna need you to run that by me one more time. <laughs> that sounds like a good one that I would love to read on stream. <laughs> Just, what? Oh my god. Now, now you guys are making me want to put like, would you guys in my Discord want a fanfic recommendation tab? We can make it, We I can make a chat for uh, fanfic recommendations. <laughs> All of you guys want these crossovers. They would be cool, but uh, that's for the realm of fan fiction. They would never happen, though. Yeah, exclamation point Discord should bring you to my Discord. Um, but yeah. All right, after stream, I'll make a fanfic recommendation tab. I should have done that a long time ago, actually. Anyway, so video games. We have AI Somnium files to play, by the way. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know what? I also want to make a Persona 6 bingo card for whenever we actually play it. I want to see if I can uh, make a bingo card for the game. All the non suitable work fix that can be shared. Um. I guess, how would we do that? I don't see... Like, I don't know. Because, like, sharing a NSFW picture on Discord 
obviously is a big no-no. Sharing a fic? I could restrict it. Or people can just, like, label it as such. I don't know. <clears throat> I'll think about it. That's not actually something I thought about. <clears throat> Dead parents have to be there. Oh, of course, of course. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Let's go, friends. Look at mama rubbing those balls. Oh, hell yeah. Why is mama in a cult hoodie? Uh, it's because uh, she's part of the Nirvana initiative. Do you prefer happy endings or sad endings for fan art? It heavily depends on the context. But I like both. As long as it's well written, that's all I care about. I don't really care about how things end, per se. I just like having a good journey. Alrighty. Let's play this fucking video game. First off, my Tamagotchi, I'm sure, is waiting for me. What would you do if you got questioned by the police? I live in fear. I'm a pussy. I would just accept. I became a childy. Tell me more. It's a mame now. <laughs> oh, class up! I have mermaid outfit, cat paws and tail. What? But I hate that you have to, like, leave the game. So, okay, we can save. Data is saved. Okay. So, exit game and open the bonus menu. We have to do this? I'm afraid. Alright. I gotta get Tama some outfits. You can use eyeballs here to purchase bonus content. By progressing the story, more bonus content will be unlocked. So I can have Mizuki and Ryuki's outfit. Hurry and check it out. Come on. Good choice. Okay, then that's all we got. This is this is it. This is literally all we get. <laughs> Oh, this song has been stuck in my head, dude. Oh my god, I hate it. Ever since I performed this dance. Oh, by the way, that video is coming out soon. <laughs> I did I did film the dance. But it's been stuck in my head. Holy shit. It will not leave. I'm do hoping. something like this. Ryuki, you're going to play the fleeing culprit this time. Terror, use this elevator to bring Tokiko's right half into the room. Tokiko? She said Nyes isn't a religious group, but this is clearly... Kuruto Ryuki, you're being demoted to a police officer. Tama, as long as you're with me, I can keep going. Oh yeah, that shit happened last time. That's... I like that previously, yeah. Previously on AI Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative. All right, so now do I go to Tama's room? I really hate that you have to like leave the game for that. It's kind of poo poo. You missed me so much. I can see it in your face. How do you do, Tama? How do you do, Tama? 
a little annoyed, frankly. Uh oh. Why? I will wear anything. So I can wear Ryuki's clothes. Oh, I've got mm, it. Pants aren't bad either. Pants aren't bad either! <laughs> right, because you don't wear pants. Meow, meow. Oh god, they even have custom animations and shit with it. Yeah, it looks good. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Purr, purr. Uh. Purr, purr. Purr, purr. I regret it. Oh no! The cat buzz! <laughs> no! Okay, anyways, so uh, let's talk to the silent people over here, am I? Uh, what happened? Well, are you upset? Ah, sumo wrestler! Who are you calling a sumo wrestler? Sorry, mom. A oh, sorry, mama. Uh, what happened? Are you upset? Excuse me? Ah, forest nymph! Huh? Where? Crystal balls? Is that a crystal ball? Yes, these are my big milky balls. <laughs> milky. Balls? Oh, but I'm not talking about testicles, honey. <laughs> yeah, I know. I started telling fortunes as a side she business. To clarify. And believe it or not, I actually gained the ability to hear them. Voices from other dimensions. Uh, other dimensions? Yes. One day, I was suddenly gifted with the power. I suppose it's more accurate to call it a seance than fortune telling. They both sound pretty fishy. You're just going to pretend you're hearing voices, aren't you? No, I'm completely serious. I mean, I don't even remember what happens while hearing the voices. Oh, why don't we give it a try? I could ask about the HB case. You might believe me if you see it in person. No, it's okay. No need to be so modest. It'll be free of charge. About Mama. I've been wondering this for a long time. Who are you really, Mama? Me? Oh, I'm just your ordinary, everyday, homoerotic connoisseur. <laughs> well, here's what I know. I asked Mama what she knows about the case. But unfortunately, there wasn't any new or useful information. I'm sorry I couldn't help you this time. No, it's fine. Just typical detective work. Gotta earn my pay. Ask her to perform the seance. Then let me ask the Milky Balls. The Milky Balls. Can you balls. stop calling them that? Oh, great set of balls. Who is the most beautiful in all the land? That is... Mama, of course. Oh my, <laughs> you flatterer. <laughs> That's not even what I wanted to ask. And the answer is completely wrong. That was just a joke. I figured. Ahem. Now, let's try this for real. Oh, great set of milky white balls. I need you to give me some clues for an investigation. One after another, victims have been torn in half in these half-body murders. Where can we find the key to exposing the culprit? Face. A hidden face. The true face, as yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. Huh? Did I just say something? Oh my god! 
I told you, I black out during these seances. Don't remember a thing. sequel to like a fucking 20 on the horror. I, I don't understand. Let's see. The first thing that comes to mind is... It's, yeah. Gan's face hidden under his mask, but he's sensitive about it. It's not something I can just ask. Yeah, and it's hard to say if this is really related to the case or not. The only other thing I can think of is... Ah! Jin Furaway! Huh? It might also apply to Jin. But Jin's face is well known. Yeah, it's not like he hides it. It's true that photos of his face have been all over the place. But he's never actually gone out in public in person. What? Not even once? Not even once. It's not because he's shy, is it? If that were the case, his photos wouldn't be out there either. Dude! I've heard he's an extreme narcissist. He circulates all those pictures himself. Dude! Um, again, uh, Gen, Gen is Jin. Like, if Gen pulls off the mask, he has the face of Jin, which is why he uh, hides it. Dude, that'd be so creepy! <laughs> By the way, Mama, what's up with those two? Well, the thing is, they had a bit of a differing of opinion. What do you <laughs> the mean? Balls have spoken. What is that Mama, title? The, the problem is Ginny's total lack of what? common sense. My lack of common sense? Are you sure you're not talking about yourself? You sound like a stupid person right now. What? You're the one who sounds stupid. You probably couldn't even beat the first question of the All American Ultra Quiz. W wait, wait. What is this argument even about? To be fair, not even an American could beat the first question of the All-American Ultra Quiz. Well, we're having a disagreement. All right, you jerk. Why don't we get a neutral third party and ask them? <laughs> That's what happened. So we came to Marble to get Mama's opinion, and that's where we're at. But when I gave my input, it only made things more complicated. I know. Now that Ryuki's here, let's see what he thinks. Oh no, they're pulling yeah, me into this we'll drama. Sure who's right. So, question time. Oh god. Huh? What's the name of the <laughs> island where the Statue of Liberty in New York is located? Oh, I used to know that. A long time ago. Oh, is it called Liberty Island? Sure. What? Even you think that, Ryuki? I don't fucking know. The answer is. I used to Ellis know that. Island. You know, back what? whenever I was in Ho hold on. middle school. That's ridiculous. It can't be. The Statue of Liberty is definitely on Liberty Island. Yeah, no, obviously. It's true that the Statue of Liberty is on Ellis Island. I mean, there's no such thing as Liberty Island anyway. See, this is why I moved to Canada. <laughs> I'm not an American anymore, so I wouldn't I wouldn't know something like this, obviously. What? That's not true. So you're in agreement with me. There's definitely something wrong here. Hey, what do you think, Tama? Of course it's Ellis Island. This is common knowledge. This is common knowledge! What? Look, I just looked it up online. Now do you see? You Googled it! The Statue That's of Liberty is I didn't Google on it. Ellis Island. It can't be. You can't be. just Google it and be like, oh, it's common knowledge because it's yeah. on Google. Like, you can't say I that. I still can't believe what the this, fuck? but... It looks like they're right. <laughs> Impossible. See? Anyway, they've been butting heads about <laughs> the location of the Statue of Liberty this whole time. But it looks like they finally came Chat, to a conclusion. Chad, be honest with me. All right? Did you know that the Statue of Liberty was on Ellis Island? Did you know that? Is that common knowledge? Don't you lie to me. I'll know if you're lying. Oh. You're lying, all of you! <laughs> no! What the hell? Dude. Uh.
All right, I'm quitting. This is stupid. I see. More people if knew that than so, didn't know I that. I must be the one who's wrong. I'm sorry, Amame. I was mistaken. As long as you understand now, that's good enough for me. Everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, Liberty Statue of Liberty is on an island. I remember um I love watching CP Gray's videos. He did a, like a whole video series on like how the Statue of Liberty the the border crisis because like it's on the line of like New Jersey and New York and they constantly fight over the tourism the tourist money from the Statue of Liberty and how fucked up the border line is cuz yeah it's it's pretty shit um so I remember learning about that where I never knew that before so I knew it was on an island I just didn't know what the fucking name of the island was all right like I need to get to work soon, so I'm heading out. I'll stick around for a bit longer. Okay, then I'll see you three later. What about your restaurant, Gen? I closed up shop for the day. With immigration? I couldn't acquire oh, really? any ingredients I was satisfied with. Really? Closed for a reason like that? It's really important to me. Aww. It would be rude to serve mediocre dishes to my customers. I think I'll go to the warehouse district at the harbor after this. I thought I could watch the waves and think up new dishes. That's a weird place to go for that. Oh, is everything green again? Oh, no. Uh, we're probably not going to get any flavor text, though. Or, I, I doubt it. Usually, it, nothing really comes up at the end. Uh, alright, again. Oh, I can wink sync. Uh, about Mame. Mame and I go way back. There are times when we have arguments over little things like you saw earlier. We're basically family at this point. So if anything ever happened to her, I would do everything I could to help. I believe that I have to protect her no matter what. Aww. To the warehouse district at the harbor? Yes, I love that place. I can watch the ocean in silence with no one around. I find it very soothing. For some reason, Date seems to go there often as well. About Mr. Date. I have been very close with Date for some time. He often stops by Brahmin before coming here to drink. He does? I trust him. There are only three people who weren't afraid of me the first time they saw me. Date, Amame, and Lian. You know Lian too? Yes, he's a regular at Brahman as well. Leon just wandered in one day while Date was there. They hit it off right away and had quite a lively discussion. What a weird I joined them after closing up for the day, and the three of us drank until morning. Huh, that's an interesting group. I can't imagine what you three would talk about. Probably porno mags or something. <laughs> what are they, teenagers? Oh, <laughs> uh, we talk a lot about porno mags. <laughs> yes. About your mask. Putting Date, Amame, and Leon aside, my appearance makes most people uncomfortable. But if I didn't wear this mask, I would scare them even more. If I recall, your face has a congenital condition. Yes. Would you like to see? What? My face. It, yes. No, you don't have to if you no. don't want to. Not that I'm trying he to offered. avoid it or anything. I said that, but to be honest, a part of me wanted to see it. He offered! Not out of curiosity, but because of Mama's words from face. earlier. Face. A hidden face. The true face, as yet unrevealed to all. Oh, it's so that is where the answer is hidden. get a choice between the two of them though what if what if i can't do both <gasps> i have to do mama i gained the ability to hear voices from people in other dimensions Oh, 
Oh my, you flatterer. Uh, hallucinations, maybe? A manifestation of her repressed desires. But it felt different the second time she did it, when she mentioned the thing about hidden faces. Oh, yeah, I can't wink sync both of them. But why can I x ray? You? I don't believe it. Whoa! That's a skull? It doesn't seem like the answer to solving the case was hidden there. Oh. No point in staying here much longer. Yes, let's move on. Guy. Well, again, Mama, I'll be going now. Very well. Please take care. Stop by to get a break from work every once in a while. If only we lived in a world where people didn't judge you based on your looks. I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Ota from Matsushita Diner doesn't understand the first thing about the true essence of cooking. <laughs> Yo, you tell him again. <laughs> he seems a bit down. Okay, we're supposed to see Iris at Lemnusgate. Uh, I think we're supposed to go here to hunt down Shoma, if I remember. Department store at Misatan. Let's go there. Give him a hug. I would love to give him a hug. Seems like a swell guy. What if he's not? What if he's like the main villain? Then I'll feel bad. Oh, Mr. Ryuki. What are you doing here? Here to see me on stage, perhaps? Sorry, but I won't be performing today. He isn't. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I'm here to talk to Shoma. To Shoma? Why are you looking at me like that? He looked like... I, I couldn't tell, like... Scared? Terrified? It was like a half look of being terrified, but half, like, kind of aggressive, like he was gonna beat me up. I don't know. Why am I on a Ferris wheel with you? <laughs> Aren't you having fun? I would be if you weren't here. Ryuki, Shoma is actually responding to the conversation this time. This is proof that the chastity belt of his heart is loose. Oh, God. If you shove yourself in there, you just might open up. Could you please not phrase it like that? Hmm. <gasps> My Tamagotchi! All the water in the pond. It's water. Just kidding, it's all water. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh. <clears throat> all right, window. I like this Ferris wheel. Ryuki, why don't you try jumping off? Whoa! No. Tam, are you trying to kill me? Sheesh. Okay. Praise the one wheel robot. I feel like that's a good way to start the conversation. That robot you showed me the other day was really cool. If you're that skilled, I'm sure you've gotten offers from lots of companies. N not really. I'm nothing special. I'm just really into robots. But even an amateur can tell that robot was filled with impressive technology. And the one wheel design is beautiful. Well. I knew it had to run on one wheel for sure. Why? It was really hard getting the self-stabilization feature working with the one wheel design. Like, major electronics companies make one wheel robots to show off their advanced tech. Mm-hmm. Also, what's really great about my robot is its load capacity. 
It doesn't look like it, but it can easily carry up to 45 pounds. Shit. And I want to upgrade it more so it can carry double that. I see, I see. Huh. I know you don't really care. Looks like it won't go the way it did last time. Hmm. I guess flattery won't get us anywhere. Mm. Well, I tried. Uh, about Komiji? Oh, I don't want to talk about my dad. I told you before. I don't even want to think about him. Sheesh. Well, you cut it out already? I don't want to talk about my dad. I can't really read that expression. Like, I can't... I can't tell if it's, like, anger or, like, scared. I, I don't... There's... I already told you! I hate him! Anger. Okay. I'm trying to, like, read it. <laughs> Happy now? I hate him so much, I didn't even want to say it out loud. But you were with him earlier. I was here alone at first, then Dad came. He wanted to make up. Make up? Dad and I are fighting. I ran away from home yesterday. You ran away from home? Oh boy. Um... Let's just go about... What about Mizuki? I told you before, she's just a classmate. We're not friends, and I don't know much about her. Supposedly, she's attending school from her house near the harbor. But I guess her permanent address is in our school district or something. That's why she goes to the same school as me. So you do know a lot about her. <laughs> no! That doesn't mean anything! <laughs> no, no, no! Not <laughs> like I'm even slightly <laughs> interested in that uggo. Well, he really is a kid, huh? Yeah, he do be a kid, though. Why did you what lie? lie? You said the hidden message in BATS 490 pointed to Horidori Institute. But that's not true, is it? Can you tell me why you lied? And where the actual location is? Truth is... I never decoded it. What? I wanted everyone to think that I did. I wanted the attention, so I lied. Why the lab? Are we done now? Don't talk to me anymore. That makes it that even weirder. Reaction. He's probably lying right now. Yeah. This chastity belt wasn't loose after all. Oh my god. If you're going to say it that way, you at least have to add the of his heart part. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'll have to talk about something else to get him to loosen up. Ryuki is too much of an innocent bean for this shit, man. <clears throat> what are you fighting about? My friends made fun of me. How is that related to your dad? Because it's my dad's fault for being so pathetic. Ooh, Pull yikes. yourself together. Show me how cool you can be on TV. That's what I said to my dad. Then... I bring smiles to the audience. If I can do that, I don't care if I get mocked. That's what it means to be an entertainer. When he said that, I blurted out... That's why mom got sick of you and left. Dad turned bright red and... Then why don't you just leave too? That's why I left the house. Damn, that's a fucking yikes. Do you think I could like someone like him? A stupid old comedian who gets clowned on all the time. He barely ever goes on TV either. And when he does, it's always some ridiculous thing, like getting piping hot Odin shoved into his mouth. The day after he goes on air, I always get made fun of by my friends. I hate it. I'm sick and tired of it. So he hates the image more than the person itself. I told you, I hate him. Everything about him. I hate how much he drinks, and how he acts so cocky and stubborn when he's drunk. He talks about all these big dreams that he can never achieve. When he sobers up, he remembers what he did when he was drunk and squirms under the blankets. Isn't that sad? It makes me hate him even more. The way his nose hair is always sticking out, the way he wipes his face with sanitary napkins, the stupid awful singing in the bathtub, everything about him is creepy, awful, and pathetic. I hate him! For hating someone so much, he sure pays him a lot of attention. They say there's a fine line between love and hate. Jeez. 
Definitely a kid. <laughs> it's no good. Shoma won't open up no matter what I bring up. Looks like we won't get through with the orthodox method. That means... Uh-oh. We'll have to try our luck with his father. Uh-oh. I don't... Wait, I don't want to sync with him. I hope that... No. I hope we don't have to. <laughs> I don't know. There's probably some plot relevance to his head being a cube. We don't know. That is not information we have. Okay, just talking to him, not sinking. Boy, I'm glad you invited me on the Ferris wheel, too. Thank you. Our objective is still to unlock Shoma's chastity belt. You're still going on with that? She will never It would never be tough to it. question Komeiji about tricky subjects if Shoma was nearby. That's why you invited him here, right? Yeah, but... Now that I think about it, we rode this Ferris wheel together two days ago. Well, Mr. Ryuki, it seems like your investigation is going around in circles. <laughs> so, uh, what is it you wanted to talk about? If it's about the case, there isn't much else to say. So, when are you jumping off? Now. I am Now's not a good time. jumping off. <laughs> After that joke. Why are you wearing your stage outfit when you're not performing today? This is the only outfit I have right now. I actually have another set of personal clothes, but I ruined those two days ago. But this bow tie, it'll be fine as long as I have this. Isn't it nice? Shoma bought it for you, didn't he? That's right. Even if I only have one set of clothes, I can wear this or take it off depending on how I'm feeling and... What is I'm with these expressions? And, wow. It's as if I changed into a completely different outfit. I could do without Not them. really. Yeah. Oops, it would be terrible if I lost it, so I'd better put it back on. What the heck? This tie? Shoma chose it for me so I could really shine on stage. When I wear it, it feels like Shoma is cheering me on. It gives me strength. It's my most precious treasure. All right, ask about Komeji himself. I used to be a real big shot back when I was known as the Quiz King, remember? But I let it get to my head, and as soon as I became a comedian, it Is that why your head's completely. like this? There was no hope for me to move up in the world. My wife got sick of me and left. I've been raising my boy alone ever since, and yet. That feel when his wife is uh, gonna be Tokiko or some shit. Do you regret becoming a comedian? Not at all. I'm proud of being a comedian. At the same time, I'm not proud of my lack of success. I've put Shoma through so much hardship. It's inexcusable. <laughs> This really hits home for me because this reminds me of my dad a lot. <laughs> After some careful consideration, I told Mr. Komeji that it's highly likely that Shoma lied about the message hidden back from the Shoma morning. lied? Yes. I see. I don't know much about that hidden message thing, but Shoma is a good boy. He wouldn't lie for no reason. I know that's not that convincing coming from his father. But he must have had a reason to lie. I have no idea. I can't really talk to him right now myself. I'm sure you're aware, but I got in an argument with Shoma yesterday. What is that? Shoma made it for me when he was little. But yesterday he ripped it up and threw it away. It was really important to me. Hmm. I want to make up, but he... It must be difficult, considering how things are now. It's all my fault. The argument only happened in the first place because of my lack of success. Hmm. 
Um, Mr. Ryuki, there is something I'd like to talk to you about. What is it? No, never mind. Please forget it. What was that about? It sounded like you wanted to tell me something important. <sighs> you know what's gonna happen next. He's gonna die. Hey, Ryuki, why don't you try wink syncing with him? Yeah, I'll try taking a peek. Hey, asshole, I know you're in there. Deadline on the payment passed a long time ago. Cough it up, you bastard! Ah, uh, it's the loan sharks again. A different set of guys came by yesterday and the day before that. I've been borrowing from so many different places, I don't know who's who anymore. Anyway, what am I supposed to do? I can't talk to the police about it. Uh, uh... So, he's borrowed money from a lot of people. He must have been in real trouble if he even got involved with loan sharks. But why can't he talk to the police about it? Don't tell me. Supposedly he has connection to the Yakuza. Word is he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Kameji, you wouldn't happen to be struggling with debt, would you? What? How did you... I knew it. That's what you wanted to tell me, right? Why can't you get the police involved? Is it because you're buying and selling on the black market? W what are you talking about? I would never do something like that. Whew. I tried asking Komeji more questions. But no matter how much I questioned him, he didn't admit to any involvement with the Yakuza. In the end, I was unable to find any clues leading to the key of Sh to Shoma's heart. Game over. Whoop! Actually! change of pace i was getting real depressed <laughs> god that story hit a little that, that story really hit close to home a lot i was i was not handling that well oh god sheesh <sighs> thanks i needed that uh so the auto save was okay it's at the ferris wheel at least but I don't know how much conversation we're going to have to skip. The most Tokiko. accurate prediction of all time. She said Miles isn't a religious group. <laughs> Holy crap, that was crazy. <laughs> Whew. Game over. Explodes the game. Uh, 94 hours already? Wait. Oh, d oh, wait, am I leaving that game on? Boy, I'm glad you invited me on the Ferris wheel, wait, too. Wait, I don't have 94 hours in the game. It would be tough to... I, I, I just, so, I, I, I left it I on, not... I guess, overnight. Oops. I used to... This... At least the skip function is... Uh very fast oh my god not at all but yeah this um i have besides the black market shit it, this very much reminds me of uh my dad because um 
my dad, uh, uh, most of you know, like, I grew up, my dad owned two golf courses, so he had two businesses. And I used to be that kid who, like, hated my dad because he didn't know how to, like, run his business properly and, like, we weren't successful with it. Um, uh, liter literally me. <laughs> like, I just see myself so much in Shoma right now, like, because I was that stupid fucking kid that just didn't understand what my dad was trying to do. And, like, of course, I love my dad now, and I have a much, I like, I understand everything now, looking back, and I, I, I've apologized to him and everything, but... Uh, yeah, I, I feel, I feel bad. <laughs> my dad never, like, went to the black market, huh. though. Shoma isn't here. <laughs> to get money. My mom, at least, like, took care of that side of things, but... Yeah, he just, I, I remember just being so frustrated with him because also he worked so much and he tried to make his businesses so successful that he almost never came home. So I never got to like see my dad and that also made me mad. I'm like, why can't you like be with your kids? You're too busy slaving over your golf course businesses. I was so mad. Where did that boy run off to? But he was just working really hard. Uh, I know he did it for us. Just, you know, when you're a kid, you don't understand that shit. You just, like, want to see your mom and dad. You want to see them happy. You want to spend time. You know, you don't understand what your parents go through at a young you age. You still haven't made up. I'm sorry, Mr. Ryuki. I need to go find Shoma now. So, well, bye for now. Excuse me. Oh. <sighs> Hi, Nairi! Welcome! <laughs> Thank you so much! I'm, Meiji and Shoma. I'm huh? glad you enjoy the content. That's really sweet. It's clear that they're both hiding something. Hmm. Even if we chase them down and asked again, we'd get the same result. I guess we have no choice. Let's go somewhere else for now. Yeah, let's. Tama has to know information ab uh, about Ryuki. You would think. Why doesn't she ever say anything? I wonder about that. Because Ryuki is obviously some sort of, like, anomaly. She has to know something. Balloons! I don't know if I'm gonna get any flavor text, but I I'm gonna try. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Someone at Spike Tune stops wondering who the heck's playing this for so long. I didn't realize I left my PS4 on. Oops. Rip my 94 hours of gameplay, apparently. I've only been playing this game for like 10 hours, I think, now? I think we have about like 10 hours in the game. But we will never know. Alright, let's get out of here. To the garden. <laughs> Persona on Switch! Yeah, Persona on Switch! <laughs> it's really exciting. Ah. Now everybody can play one of the best stories of all time. Huh? Ryuki, why are you here? Mizuki, to I miss you. people for the investigation. Why are you two here? Kizzy comes here to play with the kids sometimes. She really loves kids. Yes, I find it quite soothing. And it energizes me. I'm just tagging along. That makes sense. Mizuki could probably fit in with the kids pretty good. I feel like I just got insulted. Mind if I kick your ass? <laughs> Vixis is quite popular with the children here. She played with them often when she was still living with Mr. Date as well. I don't like this when she was living with Mr. Date. Now I'm depressed. I miss Date. How do you like eating your jellyfish? I don't. Ew. <laughs> There's not a no option. <laughs> uh, miso soup, sure. 
First time I heard it. Yeah, just put jellyfish in miso soup. It's great. You should try it. I like this park. Cute. Spring playset. Oh, yeah. You can eat jellyfish? I feel like you can eat anything, but yeah, that's that's news to me. Jungle gym! Castle slide? A slide. Ryuki is always, like, just so depressed. <sighs> Ryuki, what are you? Hi, Kazuna. Um, why do you call Mizuki Big Sis? She's uh, already said that we before. We did not get much of a chance to speak yesterday. For various reasons, I have been living with another girl since I was nine years old. Another girl? Not your relative. No, we were not related. Why is there no raw blood. option? We were the same age. Why would you I just eat a raw jellyfish? She was so beautiful, collected, I think you and would die. She was the spitting image of an older sister. There is something about Mizuki that reminds me of her. Hmm, I see. Beautiful and collected, huh? Why does that look in your eyes offend me so much right now? Mm. Is she not with you anymore? Mizuki. When she turned 15, she was adopted. So, we do not live together any longer. I'm just- I'm going through the catalog of characters in this game. I'm trying to think of, like, if it could be somebody that we know. Um... You're close with Mr. Date, huh? Indeed. We have been quite close. Some time ago, when I nearly got in trouble with some delinquents in town, Mr. Date saved me. Since then, Ryuki I have been is showing attractive. my gratitude yes. with home-cooked meals. Or booking a hotel room for him if he is unable to go home for I'm whatever reason. I'm also riding that train. Like when we got in a big fight and I kicked him out. <laughs> As we continue to interact, Mizuki we have come smiles to form a sort that. of mutually beneficial relationship. You must like Mr. Date, Kizuna. Yes, but merely as a friend. She was pretty direct about it. <laughs> yep. That old vibrating bed of a man would never be a viable romantic candidate. Ouch. About the questioning. You mentioned you were questioning people. Is someone here related to the case? I'm here to talk to your father, Mr. Richi Chieda. Oh, I forgot about that what? point. My father? Yeah, I heard he's here. He is... Though, I believe he is currently in a meeting. I see. Then I guess I'll wait until he's done. She has a gentle smile on her face. All right, Mizuki. How are you? It's all right now, because I am here. Half might. What? You just seemed kind of quiet, so I thought maybe you weren't feeling well. But I'm always like this. Though, now that you mention it, I guess my old leg wound is bothering me a bit. Oh. Wait, where are you looking, perv? What do you mean? Huh? You brought it up. By the way, is that a bullet wound? Yeah. Doesn't it hurt? No, not really. It's from when I got shot by the new Cyclops killer. But I think the pain I felt inside was worse. Oh. Now I'll be scarred forever because of that bastard. Oh, nothing. Being here takes me back. Oh, wait, no! So what is it you wish to discuss? No! F Father. I still have to talk with Mizuki more. And who is this? Mr. Ryuki from the police. He is investigating the HB case. I see. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Kuruto Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department. May I ask you some questions? That's fine, but I don't have much time. I would appreciate it if you're quick about it. No! I wasn't done talking to Mizuki. Go away. You're Mr. Richi Chieda. Indeed I am. An investor and founder of the Chieda Foundation. You're also the chief director of Iowen and a major shareholder of Horadori Institute of Genetics, is that right? And all of that has kept me quite busy. So, you already know all that about me. What more do you want me to say? <sighs> this guy's a piece of work. 
He obviously doesn't respect us. I mean, he is one of the wealthiest people on Earth. A police officer is probably like an aunt to him. Do you know about the case? Of course I know about it. One of the victims was from the research institute I invest in. I've suffered heavy losses because of it. It was quite the aggravating incident. As a citizen, I would like the police to resolve this problem as quickly as possible. Before they waste any more of our taxes, that is. Ugh. About Jin. Jin Furaway. You mean the first victim? Of course I know of him. In fact, anyone involved in finance couldn't avoid knowing him. Were you close with him at all? Not particularly. I checked. He and Jin had practically no contact with each other. Tokiko? Who's that? The president of Nye's Japan. Nye's? I'm not familiar. I've never even heard of it. Mm. About your relationship with Chikara. Well, he is the director of the research institute I'm funding. Or maybe I should say was. Either way, that was the extent of our relationship. He was quite... well, an eccentric individual. And? I only invested in his work. I don't care what his personality was like. It doesn't concern me as long as it doesn't affect his job. Was there any work-related trouble? Not at all. You seem to be searching for a motive for me to kill Chikara. However, I gain nothing from his death. I have suffered nothing but losses because of this incident. In other words, I am a victim as well. And you suspect me of all people. The police in this country continue to prove their own uselessness. Seriously, what is up with this guy? If only he didn't have so much authority, we could pin something on him and book him. <laughs> well, hold on now. Do you have an alibi? What were you doing two days ago? February 11th, around 8 p.m. And on February 9th, at 6 a.m. What is that supposed to be? Confirming my alibi? Yes, well, it's only a formality. <sighs> I see the police have no problem wasting people's time. Well, fine. Two days ago, I was having dinner with the Federation of Economic Organizations in Ginza. I was on a business trip on the 9th, and I stayed at a hotel in Kyoto. Tama? I just checked. He's telling the truth. He was spotted on surveillance cameras in each location. About Chikara? I understand you are the majority shareholder of Horidori Institute. As the de facto owner of the Research Institute, I'm sure you must know of its origins and insider information. What are you trying to say? I explained the information about Chikara that Tama had obtained. About the dubious research that he had been conducting about the rumors of human experiments and that his research facility was forced to shut down nine years ago. Along with the fact that Chikara disappeared in order to avoid being investigated, and that the current research institute was built after the heat from that incident had settled down. Did you know all of this? I did. You provided the capital required to rebuild the research institute, did you not? Yes. Why did you decide to fund it? The gene therapy research that was being led by Chikara. That research had a great deal of value and potential. Even with all the advancements in this day and age, there are many people who are still suffering from incurable diseases. Not to mention all of the children who can't live a normal life due to the illnesses they were born with. I have seen the suffering of so many people, precious to me. Chikara's research had the potential to help all of those people. It brought hope to humanity itself. It's... Certainly true that his personality and past weren't without issues, and I won't deny that the research faced criticism due to its radical nature. Still, if it can help alleviate the suffering of so many people, I wanted to put my support behind it. In other words, I invested in the future that research institute could bring us. Tama, is there anyone in Mr. Chieda's family that has an incurable disease? No, and of course, he doesn't have one himself either. His only daughter is completely healthy. And his wife, Kizuna's mother, passed away long ago. I cannot get a read on this guy. 
Mm -hmm. What is it? No, it's just... Is this your first time here? Kizzy's invited me a bunch of times before. Big Sis is very popular among the children, and she is great at keeping them entertained. I... I'm not as good as you, Kizzy. I see. Feel free to come back anytime. Any friend of Kizuna is welcome here. Ryuki, I just slipped into Iowan. I came across some interesting information. 23 years ago, a child in their care went missing. What? The child was six at the time. His name was Uru Somazuki. It was reported extensively, but he still hasn't been found. Oh my god, we're getting too much information. I can't. This dialogue gave me like too many pieces of like a puzzle. I can't put anything together. Wink sink. No matter how much wealth you have, there is a limit to the people you can save. How powerless I am. Perhaps it's necessary to be accepting of help wherever you can get it. He's willing to go that far. Mr. Chieda, there's one more thing I'd like to ask. What is it? It's about Uru Somazuki. You remember him, don't you? Yes, I will never forget. The Iowan missing child. That's what the media called it back then. Was it a kidnapping or an accident? The case was never solved. And the child is still missing to this day. What a painful memory. It makes my heart ache. Ask about the missing child case. As the chairman, I take full responsibility. But wouldn't you agree that the police should take most of the blame? After mobilizing so many investigators, they weren't able to find a single clue. What do you think, Tama? He has some personality issues, but he doesn't seem like an evil monster. It doesn't seem like he's lying either. Though, it is concerning that so many mysterious incidents have been happening around him. Are we done here? We've wasted enough time. I think that I think. he might be into some shit we'll that he'd rather now. not be a part of. F -f 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 Father! Huh? Huh? Come again? P -p 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 Please! Let me marry your daughter! Oh, God. I swear I'll give her a good life! I swear it to the heavens! So please, please, give me permission to marry your daughter! Kizuna, I'll be coming home late again tonight. Yes. Goodbye, father. Wait! Wait! Please don't ignore me! Kizuna, who is this? A stranger. Oh, wait, 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 wait! A stranger. We met at Matsushina Diner two days ago! Ouch! You're that unemployed guy, Lian, right? Did you go to the unemployment office? Uh, I'm gonna go tomorrow. That's a no. <laughs> In other words, you're a leech on society. Ooh. I've never sucked anyone's blood! Oh I my god! I don't think he was being literal. No job, no education, no manners. Not to mention, you're drinking in the middle of the day. Oh, uh, but this is non-alcoholic. And you dare call me father. To put it frankly, I wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot pole. How rude! I'm a human being, thank you very much. And I am not a pole vaulter! In any case, stay away from my daughter. Though it's not like she would give you the time of day anyway. Uh, wait! Wow. Aww. Gizzy's dad must be really busy. I don't think that was the issue. Uh... Looks like he's feeling down, but his core remains undamaged. Oh, I 
can look at this tree. All right, um, about Mr. Chieda. I've been here before, but this was my first time meeting Mr. Chieda. Though... <sighs> They're doing that thing. Mm. He noticed it too, so they know each other. That guy well, from Matsushita Diner is kind of a weirdo, isn't he? He doesn't seem like a bad person, but... That is how my father always is. Mr. Ryuki, is my father related to the case somehow? It's still hard to say. I see. About he Liam. has been following me around since we met at Matsushita Diner two days ago. Great, a stalker. Considering how persistent he is, I may have to deal with him as a cop. <laughs> oh, actually, he was so persistent that I allowed him to consider us friends for the time being. What? Seems like this girl's problematic in her own way. Oh my god. Girl. Oh boy. Ah, we meet again! Oh, it's you again. You seem to show up wherever I go. Maybe we're connected somehow. Not that I want to be connected with the dude. Uh... <laughs> so about Mizuki? Ah, you were at Matsushita Diner too, weren't you? Yeah, why? Um, wait. Uh, what's this called again? Rendezvous? What? No, that's not it. A uh, flirt -a What the hell is this guy talking about? I have no idea. Uh, I almost have it. It's... Right at the back of my uvula. Can I choke slam him? Please. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I totally crashed and burned today. All because this thing caused a misunderstanding. Uh, that wasn't the issue. Oh, my Meeting God. the parents is a once in a lifetime event. I wanted to calm my nerves a bit. But uh... I'm definitely gonna get his approval next time we meet. That's some real positive thinking. Huh. Damn right. If you aren't in it to win it, you've already lost. Maybe you can learn something from him, Ryuki. Don't even suggest it. But I was basically told that I'm useless just three days ago. Can't say it doesn't sting after hearing it so many times. Uh, what happened three days ago? Remember how I said I got fired from my cleaning job? The place I worked was Horadori Institute. What? I actually... Used to be a thief. I was so good at lockpicking, they called me the master of unlocking. I used my skills to borrow valuables. Many times. I've gone clean, of course. I got arrested, did my time, and I haven't stolen anything since. I was so stupid back then. And I honestly regret it from the bottom of my heart. But Chikara Horidori, the director, found out about my criminal record. And he fired me. He told me, a person who falls to those depths can never rise again. Ooh. Damn it. It's just not fair. Ouch. I've been working hard since I got out of jail. That's why I was like that back at the diner, by the way. To be honest, I was debating whether I should just kill myself. That's when an angel appeared before me. Me? <laughs> That's right, Kizzy. You. I felt safe. I wanted to give it my all and live again. You saved my life. Leon, please tell me one thing. Anything! You have not stolen a single thing since you were released? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course I haven't. So you haven't used your lockpicking skills either? Huh? Huh? Oh, hold on. Don't tell me you broke into someone's house. N no that's not wrong but it's wrong what the it's true that i opened a lock and broke in somewhere but i wasn't committing a crime uh... <laughs> I, I, I the thing is last night last night you broke into a house no n not a house uh i guess i have to say it i broke in to horadori institute what Oh, but like I said, it wasn't a crime. It was for an investigation. I was helping the police. 
The police. Strange. I didn't hear anything about that. Maybe it was unrelated to the HB case. The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horadori Institute. But in the end, we didn't find anything. So I didn't take anything either. Please believe me. Wait. Who asked you to do this investigation? I can't tell you that. It's supposed to be a secret. Secret? You just told us the whole thing. <laughs> anyway, I just want you to know I didn't do anything illegal. At all. Very well. I will trust you, Leon. Oh, thank you! You really are an angel, Kizzy! <gasps> My Tamagotchi! Where should I finish? What? Finish? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, you don't fish in an aquarium, dude. Could you imagine going to an aquarium and seeing someone fish? <laughs> what the fuck? Fish in the river. River fish. Freshwater fish is lean and tasty. This game is not rubbing off on me. I don't know what you guys are talking about. That was 200% on purpose. About Kazuna. As you know, I met Kizzy two days ago at Matsushita <laughs> Diner. When I saw her, <laughs> it was love at first sight. And I tried to get her attention. You'll never know. When Kizzy left the diner, I followed her. When she boarded oh, a train, great. I spent all my money to get on the same one. When she went in the girl's bathroom, I followed her. Ryuki, cuff it. But decided not to go inside. Even though she kept ignoring me, I never gave up trying to talk to her. And finally, in Yoyagi Park, she acknowledged me. Kizzy finally decided to accept my love. I told him it was acceptable to be strictly friends. So, you gave in. You set a bad precedent there. However, I believe you promised you would be more serious about your job search. I do not associate with those who do not work, let alone be friends with them. Yeah? But I was here yesterday, so... It was indeed helpful of you to play with the children. However, that does not conclude your promise to me. I'm sorry. I feel like we're destined to be together, Kizzy. I want to stay by your side. Destin? My name. Leon is spelled L-I-E-N. In French, Leon means bond. Just like Kizuna means bond in Japanese. Oh well, well, how about it? <laughs> That's destiny, right? Hmm. Sounds like a bit of a stretch. I agree. Oh. Oh, crap. I forgot to mention something important. I should have said this earlier, Kizzy. The order was supposed to be the other way around, but... Here it goes. Kizzy, please marry me. Did she Wait a not minute. Just is that? Tell you that she I hope my prince charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday. That's my dream. Not an engagement ring, but an engagement shoe. I bought them using my entire life savings. Please, accept. I... I cannot accept that. We would need to have a relationship for an adequate amount of time first. What? Kizzy. You mean, you'll date me? No, that is not what I meant by relationship. I meant that we would need to spend time together as friends. How long? How long? Hey, how long would we need to be friends? 
Well... Five years... No, perhaps six. If after six years, you still feel the same way, then... Izuna, okay, you need to stop, it. girl. And I'll take good care of this for six years. You need what? to stop. Seriously? What if you lose them? Or break them? Hey, I have a good idea. Oh? What's your good idea, Ryuki? It better be actually good. There. Wait, we just put it in a box? I put the glass slippers in there. And the letters. I wrote out how I feel now in one of the letters. And in the other... I have written how I currently feel in that letter. This is a time capsule. We'll bury it here, then dig it out six years from now. If you still feel the same way as what's written in the letters in six years... Yeah, then you'll accept the shoes. Right, Kizzy? Yes, then... Perhaps... Huh. You know, that is kind of romantic. I didn't know you had this sort of sign to you, Ryuki. Okay, I'm burying it now. Ah, uh, I can't wait. Six years. So is Ryuki Six on the market or no? <laughs> you sure you're still gonna feel the same way? Of course. My love <laughs> is eternally <laughs> undying. <laughs> Huh? Kizuna, what's wrong? Oh, that again. What? You know how dogs pee when they get excited? What? It's kind of like that. Uh, I don't get it. What Just you... watch. Let us begin. Start the music! Why are we singing? Why? Duck and gum on my way to the station. The crowd squeezes out my frustration. And now I'm taking heat in the classroom. Oh well, I'll eat some donuts in the bathroom. Now I hear my friend got herself a boyfriend. They're going out for barbecue on the weekend. I see all of those smiles in their pics online. I like this song a lot better than my initial reaction to Iris's song. No, that's not the same dance as the first game. It's very different. Yay, a whole new dance for me to learn. I thought so two days ago, too. You really are good at dancing, Kizuna. Thank you. Yeah. That was seriously amazing! <laughs> well, I need to get going now. Yeah, see you later. Have a nice day. Good luck with the investigation! Alright. Well, we danced.
All right, time to see Iris now. The competition. <gasps> Is that the receptionist? Ah, Ryuki! We yeah! just finished recording! Oh, good timing. She's back! But why are these two here? I just happened to be here by chance. Me too! I'm here completely by coincidence! Bulma's there completely by coincidence! Okay, then. So, what is it you wanted to tell me about the case? Yeah, about that. Who, who the hell is that? Hmm? What? Talk about sketchy. Maybe someone from the talent agency? I don't know. I couldn't see their face, so it's hard to say. Seems dangerous, but I'll put my life on the line to protect Tess. I, I, I mean, Iris. So, uh, don't you worry. M me too. That's not creepy at all. Booba. Hello. Wow, what a total hottie. What? Oh, this is perfect. I was just starting to get bored. Come on, let's have a chat, cutie. A little tete-a-tete. -tete. Sorry. I have no idea what you're oh saying. Oh my god, is she gonna oh, be like... Oh, and your voice is super mega hot, too. I know! Hottie for a thotty. Slide into my DMs anytime, King. Um, I'm here to ask some questions for an investigation. Wait, you're with the police? Are you friends with Date by any chance? Oh shit. Yeah, he he's my superior. Oh my god, it's such a small world, crazy. Why is this woman a receptionist? <laughs> Likely a decision made by the company president. Mizuki? <laughs> Mizuki, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this. And oh man, Date went with it before because you know Date's horny, but like Ryuki is like so anti-horny. How does this work? It's okay. You don't have to say it. You want to rub these soft things, don't you? No, I wasn't. Oh, fine. Just for a bit, okay? There you go. I moved over to the receptionist and began vigorously rubbing both of her earlobes. They were softer than I expected. Ryuki, what are you doing? <laughs> when I returned to where I was, Iris was looking at me as though I was the scum of the earth. <laughs> Let's go to Atami together. What? What are you talking about, Ryuki? N no. I was just suddenly overcome with an inexplicable urge to go to a Tommy. Let's go to a Tommy together. Forget the investigation. I'm going to a Tommy with her. I've already made up my mind. Don't try to stop me. Did you take crazy pills this morning or something? Hold on, I should save my game. I have a feeling this is, are we gonna run away with her? Same ending as the first game. Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. Wait a minute. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Ryuki, please. I have a bad feeling about this. Now, let's go to Atami together! Uh, okay. officer hello atami shizuoka prefecture i began my new life as a staff member at an inn here in the hot springs district the end
This was a great game. 10 out of 10. Would definitely recommend playing this to another person. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. Oh, I never looked at the flowchart. Tutorial. I'm getting a tutorial. Oh. That's it? Just two straight paths? There's no way. Oh, I see it's separated by days though. So like the day is going to be different. Oh God, look at Tok Tokiko. They, they, they have the thumbnail is like her eyes being all. Ooh. Why is that purple? Oh, because maybe somebody died? Huh. I did save my game, so. <laughs> I just still can't believe that actually happened. I didn't think that was gonna be an ending because like Ryuki's not really horny. Wait, did it auto save? Wait, when did, I, I saved right before I ran away. He was possessed by the horny. Mm-hmm. Indeed. I have 95 hours in this game. I'm depressed. Here to see me on. I know. Oh, it just took me here. Okay, so it did do that. I mean, I guess... Uh, no, I'd rather go back to my save, though, instead of, like, doing it that way. My conversations I had. They totally mean something. Hi, I'm everyone. I mean, we got to touch her earlobes, which was pretty cool. Did get to touch the earlobes. The true face. Oh, God, Mama. Girl. Oh, boy. Hmm. I'm still trying to read her dad a little bit. Okay, let's see. Houseplant. Whoa, there's a weird bug here. You're right. I've never seen it before. Damn, not Iba. I heard that painting is actually titled T-N-Y-E-O. It used to be called by another name. Of course. Ah. <sighs> I am very terrified of that girl over there. Why did she just walk in here? Special feature, useful ways to tie a rope. Oh. Huh. Ryuki, steal it for me later. Tama's into it. It's a vending machine selling drinks. Maybe I'll put a monitor that big in our office, too. What would you watch? Obviously, Tess... Tess... T -t testicle... Testicle videos! Yeah! Testicle videos! That sounds really icky, MoMA. <laughs> He's dead, Jim. He's dead. Tessa, would you stand on that stool over there? What? Why? Nice hop. Not you too, Ryuki. Well, okay. If you think I have nice thighs, then... W wait, what did you think I said? Oh boy. All right, Um, I guess I'll... Masked woman. 
your mask is upside down. She doesn't care. Look, a wooden pony! Huh? Where? Uh... Are you going to a shoot? Can I help you? <gasps> what if this masked woman is actually Ryuki? Do re mi sofa. Oh god, they did it again. Why are you here? I told you, I just happened to be here. I just so happened to know Tessa's recording schedule. And I thought she might be thirsty after recording, so I got her a drink. In other words, he was waiting for her. Uh -huh. Thanks for everything, Ota. <laughs> Fire! Hot, hot, Tessa! Shipping! Great, great, Tessa! Airplanes! Pipe, flight, Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASAT! You bet! <laughs> <laughs> I love Ryuki. <laughs> hey, Momo! Why are you here? I told you it was a coincidence. It's a coincidence, For some reason, guys. Tessa, I got ASAT's recording schedule happened to be in my PC. I figured it was a cyber attack <laughs> by a rival <laughs> gang, so I came here to scout things out just in case. <laughs> That's a huge stretch. <laughs> he was probably just waiting for Oh her. my god. Thanks for everything, Mr. Kumakura. <laughs> Shopping. Cart, Mart, Tessa. Gaming. Bike, Sprite, Tessa. Account. Check, collect, Tessa. It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa. Also known as... Okay, I don't need to hear it again. <sighs> my Tamagotchi. What haunted spot would you like to go to? Uh, none of the above. Uh, let's go to the uh, the old battlefield. Sounds cool. Ochimusha ghosts are scary. They usually have arrows in their heads. Oh. Aset collects checks. <laughs> uh, what is it you wanted to tell me? Two days ago, we were talking about the people who went missing after seeing Bats 490. Well, the same thing started happening with the people who saw the QR code video. What? I read about it online this morning. Many people have gone missing since seeing that video. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location, and they're all getting murdered. You there. Is what you just said true? Huh? Y yeah Who the hell are you? Don't get one step closer. Th that's right. What are you trying to do to Tessa? Sorry to bother you. And they're gone. What was that all about? Um, about our discussion. Oh, right. Did someone you know go missing or something? No, it's not that. It's just a rumor I found online. Tama, how many people have gone missing lately? About 1,700 people have gone missing this week. It isn't particularly higher than usual. Hmm. There's something paranormal going on in the HB case after all. Like half a corpse teleporting from another world, and people going missing after watching a video. There has to be some sort of supernatural phenomenon happening. I agree with Tessa. The occult are involved with the HB case for sure. Right? Yeah. That's what they want you to think. I mean, Nice is a part of all of this, right? Where what did you that hear that? Face? It's all over the internet. Nice is a big proponent of the simulation theory. Oh, and I didn't know this a few months ago. I learned all this recently. Why are they trying if to make you think people about believe that in theory this being stuff? Correct, the case makes a lot more sense. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. 
And such programs always have some glitches lurking under the surface. Coincidences like this are a manifestation of such glitches. Proof of imperfection. Proof of the scenes. I can wink sink anyone. Wait, the receptionist? Yes! <sighs> I heard the hibernation diet works, so I gave it a try. I've been sleeping all the time, but it's not working at all. I've actually gained more weight. Oh my god. What? You mean it's more than just sleeping, breathing techniques? What? Ugh. That sounds like a pain in the butt. Oh my god. Is a receptionist sitting behind the desk. Is a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. Oh my god. Dude, this proves my theory that Tama is Date. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. Tama is Date. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breasts. Breasts. There are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. What are you saying? My theory is confirmed. Either Tama was a inspiration uh, inspired by Date, or like Date's brain is quite literally in Tama. That's why he's missing. No other explanation. The simulation theory is probably true. There's even proof. Proof? Take a look at this. Oda pulled out several photos from his pocket and handed them to me. Doesn't this remind you of something? Like those nameless mob characters that show up in video games. <laughs> you know they reuse assets to lower production costs. What? No, this is probably just some sort of coincidence. Like some synchronicity type thing? But there's more photographic proof. In a nutshell, they're basically meaningful coincidences. For example, when you talk about someone and they just so happen to show up in front of you. Or when you hear the same word over and over from a bunch of different I'm people. I'm not buying this that shit. That kind of synchronicity. It's supposed to mean that there's a message behind it. A message from who? Well, someone. Do you still think it's a coincidence after seeing this? If you consider this stuff that can't be explained by science as a glitch in the simulated world, it can't be. I hate that Calm face down, from Oda. Ryuki. Holy shit, it's so bad. These are obviously doctored photos. Y yeah, you're right. Oda just carries around the photos. Of course he does. He has something to prove. I just thought of something listening to Ota. You can explain any paranormal phenomenon using the simulation theory. UFOs, UMAs, ghosts, superpowers? If this world is a simulation, they'd all be possible. Yeah, whether it's a glitch or alterations made on purpose, whatever it is, would all make sense. I'm no expert on paranormal and occult stuff, but I know one thing for sure, so gotta warn you mm -hmm. you should back out of this investigation what do you mean i don't know much about that nice group but there's definitely a real dangerous organization involved in all this if you get too deep you might end up dead i'm already dead inside Word spreading in the underground if the cops investigate any further they'll make them disappear seems like the rich and powerful from all over the world are involved in this too you piss them off who knows what they'll do to you? Rich and powerful. Could Mr. Sachima be involved in this too? Sachima? You mean the former politician guy? Yes, so Sajima. Oh, but don't worry about it. I just saw him recently, so he popped into my head is all. Wait, you met with So? Yeah. Why? 
Because he invited me to his house. What? For what reason? He said he happened upon my videos online and thought they were interesting or something like that. What? Uh, are you okay? He didn't do anything, did he? Not at all. We just talked for a bit. Iris doesn't know So Sejima is her father. Or the fact that he was involved in the murder of her real mother, Monica. Yeah, the people around her have been protecting her from that information. Fortunately, Iris doesn't really watch the news either. But in any case, the media hasn't found out Iris is Monica's daughter. For the best. Oh, I didn't get to read the top thing. Now, let's get going. For all that talking we did, we didn't get much useful information here. Yeah, but something has been bothering me. I'll keep what I heard here in mind, just in case. Now what? That was the last thing that we had to do for the day, so I guess we go back to Abyss Headquarters. I'm not sure where we go from here. We didn't get anything useful for the case. There are some things that I've been thinking about, though. The biggest one being... The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horadori Institute. But in the end, we didn't find anything. A hidden room inside Horadori Institute? We have to look into this. After hearing about something like that... Well, I suppose so. So... All right, our next destination is? Yeah, Horadori Institute. All right, I guess we go back. Yeah, I think the cat stuff only comes on, like the outfit that you give Tama only comes on during sinks, I guess. No one here. It's past business hours, so they probably all left. But the lights are on. Maybe someone forgot to turn them off? Someone's here. The entrance was unlocked, too. We're gonna die. I think someone forgot to lock it. There weren't any guards around. Must be on vacation! No, oh, fine. I'm sorry, okay? Yes, you're right. Something is clearly wrong. It's as if someone is inviting us inside. A trap, maybe? For who? And why? No one could have known we were coming here. Then maybe it's for welcoming someone other than us. Who's there? Ryuki, living organism detected. They're alone. They must be hiding somewhere. Just so high. They're in the binder. They're in the test tube. There you are, Cube. Hey, I know you're there. Come on out! Cube head. Why? Why? Kameji? What is he doing here? He's the kind of person that can get bought out real easy. I wonder how much money he's getting paid. Why are you here? Did you find Sushoma? This is bait. Did you unlock the entrance? What, what do you mean? 
It was unlocked when I got here. Oh god, that look. Who knows? I don't even know myself. Yeah. Before I knew it, I found myself here. Uh. Maybe my brain is messed up from all the drinking. Mm. Y yes. I think he's at home right now. He's clearly lying. He's obviously hiding the real reason he's here. Now, how to make him talk? I think he, he got bought out. He may be hiding something on his person. Let's find out. Uh, Is that... Why does he have that? Kameji, what are you hiding in your pocket? Probably bag? got offered like I, five million yen to kill me or something. About. It's no use trying to hide it. What you have there, it's a pistol, isn't it? Kameji, can you please tell me what's going on? Oh, yikes. Oh, God. There better not be, like, QTEs. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. I didn't need to do anything there. Okay, we still good, we still good. Why is the floor that slippery? Why is Ryuki really hot? Jeez. What's going on here? I need answers. But he's completely hysterical. We won't be able to talk to him like this, and we can't wink sync either. Damn. We're only left with one choice. Ryuki. Sync with him. Damn, Ryuki. <sighs> that weird Minecraft DLC, oh god. I like how we just like appear at Abyss Headquarters. Oh god, I don't want to sync with him. It's gonna be depressing. Oh hey boss, where have you been? You have right. six minutes, Dante. Oh, oh. Komeji was in Horadori Institute for some. You have six minutes, Ryuki. And he even had a gun on him. So you want Oops, to find out why? Wrong game. That's right. Okay, the preparations are complete. Let's get right to it then. You have six minutes. Ryuki. I'm sure you already know this, but the time limit inside Somnium is... Six minutes, I know. Okay, then let's begin. I get sad when we take his, his line away from him, you know? The implication that Komeji is so pathetic that you don't need QTEs to beat him? Kind of true. Kind of true. I just feel like the Somnium is going to be super sad. Uh. Don't like it. Holy crap, this game is struggling. Super Stand Up Battle! Can Tama win for a fifth week in a row and take the seat of Grand Champion? Stand Up Show veteran, Tama! Hey yo, I'm Tama! What is this? They say giving birth is extremely painful and men can't handle the pain. One day, a genius scientist created a device that could share the pain of giving birth with the father. What? His first test subject was his wife. His wife was about to give birth, so he decided to try out the device. But for some reason, he felt no pain. Something wrong with the equipment? He upped the power to 10%, then 20%, until he reached 100%, right when she gave birth. And right after that, his assistant right next to him dropped dead from pain. Tama, 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 hot tamale! <laughs> Ryuki's face. What's the result? 
43. Too bad. No grand champion for you. He's cringing. Uh, why? That wasn't funny at all. I think you're more suited for an assistant director position. Ouch. Hey, Demoted. assistant directors are the directors of the future. Don't underestimate me. Andy's Komeji on the street. Shut up. What is it now? Oh, Komeji? Let's go. Today, we'll be walking around an area that's truly memorable to me. There just aren't rooftop amusement parks like this anymore, you know? A walk around comedy show with Andy's Komeji. I didn't know he was on one of those. He isn't. This is just his dream. Dream in both senses of the word. It's his dream to have a show like this. Hmm. It's kind of pathetic. Tama. What are you holding in your hand? Hmm, what is this? A sketchbook? Well, anyway, we will, uh... Komeji's stumbling over his words. The sketchbook is a cue card. Tama, you're an assistant director now. You should send him a message using the cue card. This calls for... Say something funny. Oh, God. You gotta break through to him. <sighs> I never intended on being an assistant director. That's fine. Say something funny? What do you mean? Oh, God. What does that mean? That's... What's going on? Ryuki, we need to do our thing. Right. Do it, Tama. Somnium scan? Hmm. What? Okay. In this world, inundated with Yonohara's ideals, find out the truth and get information on what he is hiding. Let's start there. If we're going to talk about Andy's Komeji, we can't miss that place. Let's follow him. Okay, then. It's my show to so how I... Oh my god, it's my show, so how about I go to the next filming location so the staff knows where it is, and then the crew chases me. my Tamagotchi. What finish do you like? Okay, what fish do you like? Um... Salmon. I'm a basic bitch. Uh, also, this music. Where's my cat ears and cat paws? Take okay. your time. I'll be gentle. Oh, Tama, let's talk about something normal for once. Tama, let's talk about something normal for once. Oh, so vanilla kinks then? Sure, we can talk about vanilla. that. Vanilla. Oh. <laughs> I'm out, bye. <laughs> I regret it. Oh. The way everything dies around you. Depressing. He's got a good amount of fans. Oh, well, hello, hello! Komeji is back on stage! So, for the first time in a while, I want to show you a skit. Assistant Director Tama, show the cue card again. Got it. Bring audience up on the stage. Quiz. Or super funny gag. I'm curious. 
but I'll just do the super funny gag. Don't you all want to hear a certain something? God of energy, inti, inti, hachaka max! <laughs> hey lady, you're gonna get tired standing there. There's an open seat right in the front row. Not only can you take a load up, you can watch my super funny skit. Oh, um, okay. <sighs> I get one show a month and only get 5,000 yen. When we saw him in person, there weren't too many people watching him. But why not? He's funny. Okay, but in Aww. any case, he never really had a big <laughs> okay. audience. Okay. So something can trigger a flashback. The trigger is... Now that I've shared my roots, let's head over there. Komeiji is on the move. Get after him. I want to become a blank comedian who doesn't refuse blank and blank. Inspect the airplane ride. I'm good. Ooh, I've already worked for five minutes. It's time for a break. Oh. Too early for a break? Komeiji's older, so he gets tired quick. He's just joking. You shouldn't take him seriously. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing with the marker in your hand? Let's show him a cue card. Uh... Huh. He's the amateur. Hello, you look pretty old. Uh, what is it that you do? Oh, so you fillet flounders. Uh, what kind of job is that? They're already so thin. Good luck with that. Uh, see you later. <laughs> you don't want an autograph? No? No. Huh. That was a crazy job. Have you ever heard of a job like that? Hmm. I thought the strange nature of the job would give him more material to work with. Can you focus on clues and information, not try to improve the show? So what am I supposed to do? Relax. Komeiji seemed to really want to give out an autograph. This is so sad. An autograph. Doesn't refuse autographs and blank with fans in a fun way. Interact, probably. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing with... This is just depressing. You look like you want an autograph. All right, all right. So, where do you want me to sign this? The co-signee section? Yes, yes. No worries. Anything for a friend. But I do have a family to think about, so you better not ditch me. What did you sign? I said you better not ditch me. <laughs> oh, yikes. Oh, two pads. Nice. What does Komeji want the most, or what does Komeji want to protect? Komeji became a co-signee and took on someone's debt. What an idiot. Of course they'd take off on him. But hey, now we know how to trigger these flashbacks. Yeah, the cue has to link to the memory of his past. All right, let's keep going. He's on the move again. <sighs> Depressing. They actually sell balloons here. When's the last time you paid for a balloon? That's a good point. Don't agree with him. Give him a cue. Oh, 
by the balloon. All right, let's buy one. You can't get enough of these. Wait, this is coming out of my own wallet? It, it's not coming out of the show budget? What, is the budget that tight? Oh, well, I'll buy it with my own money. Ah, a run-of-the-mill balloon. Very normal. The kind you take home, and the next morning it's shriveled up and on the ground. And after thinking about what to do, you put it on some old hag's head. What am I talking about? <laughs> I guess he wants us to make him do something funnier. More TV friendly. TV friendly, huh? I want to become an open hearted comedian who doesn't refuse autographs and interacts with fans. Ryuki, you have five minutes left. You're not pewter. Shut up. They actually sell balloons here. When's the last time you paid? with the balloons. Excuse me, I want enough balloons to fly. How many would I need? What? I can't fly? Wow! <laughs> oh, wow! Duh. What's with that cue? Yeah, director, you dropped the ball on that one. Excuse me, assistant director. You can't fly. You need to think more logically. It's fine. This is a Somnium. You're the one who's always telling me to think outside the box. <laughs> I like that. They actually sell balloons here. When's the last... Anyway, they're gonna let me make a balloon today. So, can I give it a shot? Interest? My dead isn't getting any smaller. What is a blacklist? I, I can't borrow any more money? Where can I get more money? You'll let me borrow money? Really? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. The debt got bigger and bigger, and he couldn't borrow any more money from regular lending companies. That's why he started borrowing from shady people. Hey. Who is that over there? Who could it be? Uh, do we have a guest today? Tama, the person standing there is... Is this the same scene we saw at the beginning of the Somnium? We couldn't hear then, but I wonder if we can hear this time. Yeah. Say. Hello, what is it? Uh, do you need something from me? Hello, this is Chow Chow Finance. Mr. Komeiji, oh, you're late on your payments. Oh, yes. I'll pay you back no matter what. So please, uh... Are you sure? I've heard that from you enough times already. At this point, I guess we have no choice. Maybe we'll have to get your family involved. Oh, what does that mean? Mr. Komeiji, if you can't pay back what you owe, this is what happens. Do you understand? In any case, Yonoharu Inda, good luck. Shoma, Shoma, what, what should I do now? What? It's an opportunity for a cue. This is the split, isn't it? I have tons of ways to get money, but Shoma. Shoma is my one and only son. Let me through. I need to protect Shoma. Yeah, got the tech. We protect. Who did Komeji find? Let's chase after him. If blank isn't with me, then what is the point of my life? Blank and blank. Four minutes now. I'm guessing that's Shoma. 
Shoma is nowhere to be seen. I guess this is like a mini mini train. We're here now. Komeji is back to hosting his show. can ride this? Really? Today on Car Window from Another World, we're on a trip from Berlin to Prague. This is depressing. <laughs> what is like Shoma doing there? Uh, wait! Shoma! Wait! All right, we found Shoma. Uh. Tama, go after him. Can we catch up to him? Well, we better. Inspect the balloon. You have three minutes left, Ryuki. Focus. I'm tired from all the battling. I'm already regretting this. Look, Shoma is pedaling. Who cares about the show? Get after Shoma! Chase. Shoma, wait for me! Mm. You'll let me borrow money? Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I can buy school supplies for Shoma with this money. I said you better not ditch me. <laughs> How am I supposed to celebrate Shoma's birthday? It's tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a crack. <sighs> I get one show a month and only get 5,000 yen. I can't buy anything for Shoma. <laughs> I want to be successful. I need this money, all for Shoma. I don't care what happens to me as long as I have my boy. Shoma, are you there? Hold on, Shoma. I'm gonna save you. A Ferris wheel. I remember Shoma saying he liked them. I wouldn't get on one with Komeji alone, though. Don't think about that now. Okay, but... I need to find Shoma and protect him. This is one of my favorites, the Ferris wheel. I like things that go in circles. Shoma's getting on. Hopefully he'll make it. We're running out of time. This is probably the end. Chase, right? It has to be Chase. It's an older shooting game. So no zombies? It's like a clay target shooting simulator. I wonder if Komeji is good at this. Mm, I can't picture him being coordinated enough for it. I bet he's just watching other people do it. Yeah, that's a good point. Anyway, there's nothing we can do here. Lame. I'm chasing flavor text since I only have one op more option now. A spinning ride you'd find at any amusement park. It's pretty old, but it seems to be maintained well. An amusement park cherished by everyone. Maybe that's what Komeji wants. Though in reality, there aren't really too many patrons. It's well maintained because it's so memorable to him. 
Anyway, there's nothing more we can get here. You only have two minutes. Hurry, Ryuki. Yeah, we're fine. It's one of those mini trains that runs along a railroad. Adults can ride it too. Though it would be embarrassing for most adults. I'm sure it's for riding along with your kid. But if you have the heart of a child, you can do it. I left my boyhood heart in the past, child. along with my tidy whities <laughs> Is that why you wear loincloths now? Uh, I don't wear loincloths. Yet. Yet? Yet? Hey, oh. Hey, oh, what? They sell balloons out of a car. It doesn't look like the car's moved recently, nor is there anything suspicious about it. There's no need to move it around on a rooftop amusement park. Why do kids always want balloons? They just shrivel up the next day. When you're a kid, it's just fun watching a floating balloon. They go against gravity. It's like being free of what weighs you down. Damn, that's deep. Anyway, there's nothing we can do here. I guess this is an entry gate. It's really cheaply made, and it's pretty old. Is there anything strange about it? Maybe any signs of people breaking in? I don't see anything. What? I see. Searching it now won't make anything signs happen. Signs of people breaking in. Bro, do you see how this gate is? What in the actual fuck? It's not a real gate. Shoma's trying to get on the ferris wheel. Alright, chase him down. Oh god. Shoma, it's okay. I'm going to protect you. Protect me? What are you talking about? Like I said, I'm here for you. You'll be fine. What are you talking about? I'm fine. I can ride the Ferris wheel by myself. No, that's not what I'm talking about! Shoma! Shoma, where are you? Where did you go? What's going on? Hey, isn't that an envelope from Horidori Institute? Shoma, where did you go? Shoma! Ryuki, we're out of time. All right, let's go. They took Shoma and he was ordered to kill us to get his son back. That's cruel. Persona! Oh, joy for anguish. Oh, how lovely. Kameji is still asleep. It's taking longer than usual for him to wake up for some reason. I thought we used the correct dosage, but perhaps his somnium has taken a toll on him. Speaking of... What's, What's going, going on? on? Shoma! Where did you go? Shoma! That was an envelope from Horidori Institute. 
Maybe Komeji saw Shoma holding it. Shoma is related to Horidori Institute somehow? Horidori Lab. The Horidori Institute of Genetics. He lied about the hidden message in Bats 490 pointing to Horidori Institute. Maybe this is related. No point thinking about it. We'll have to ask Shoma directly. The problem is whether he'll answer. Why don't you have Komeji help? Komeji? But he and Shoma are in the middle of a fight. It might actually have the opposite effect. But he's still Shoma's father. Yeah, he should be able to get closer to Shoma's heart than any of us. Hmm. I guess so. Komeji should wake up in uh, about an hour or so. Then let's go see Shoma as soon as he does. By the way, don't even think about slapping Komeji to wake him up. What? That goes by way too fast. You don't even get an option to turn off autoplay there. There's legit nothing you can do. How lovely. Komeji woke up an hour later and I explained the situation to him. And about how we looked inside his head. I also told him about how I saw the envelope with Horidori Institute's secret document. Komeji told us he saw the contents of the envelope, but it was written in German, so he had no idea what it said. It's unknown whether Shoma can read German or not, but he surely has to, has the know-how to use a translation app, and it was highly likely that Shoma knows what it said. In any case, we had to talk to Shoma. And so, I asked Komeji for assistance. I told him that if he helped us convince Shoma, we'll overlook his possession of a firearm. We headed to the Enda household along with Komeji, but... Looks like Shoma isn't here. Huh. That's weird. He was definitely here when I left the house. What the? It can't be! Terror. What did you say? Kameji, what's going on? Listen, Terror is the one who kidnapped Shoma. I'm sure of it. Ryuki, we need to get the Shoma. Got it. So where is Shoma now? I found the GPS location on his smartphone. He's at Koto Ariake, the harbor warehouse district. Kameji. <laughs> Shoma! Shoma! What have I done? Kameji! I found out where Shoma is. I'm going to get him. You stay here. I... I'm going to... Please, take me with you. No, it's too dangerous. You should leave it to the police. I don't care! I'm Soma's father! I can't just sit here and do nothing! It's no use trying to stop me. I'll cling to your bumper with my teeth if I have to. Fine. We have no time to argue. Let's go. Yeah, the warehouse district again. Because that's where all of the good shit happens in the game. Oh boy. Those are the scientists. Oh god. There! Shoma is over there! Yes, but... He's not inside the van. How do you know? I just do. 
Anyway, what's going on here? The protective suits they're wearing. They're definitely from Horadori Institute. Does this mean terror is related to Horadori Institute somehow? Most likely, yes. But where is Shoma? Oh. Shoma! Shoma! Kameji! Damn it! Huh? Who's there? Stop! Shoma! Give Shoma back! Looks like they have no intention of talking it out. Ryuki. Take them out. Roger that. What is this smile? Oh. Behind you! Oh shit, that's hot. Oh, hello. She knew about it, but damn, get it, girl. Let's go. All right. Oh, Shoma, Shoma, I'm so glad you're okay. By the way, are you okay, Missy? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Heard about as much as a hard potato chip stabbing my gums. I'll spare the details, but basically, <laughs> Mizuki has superhuman physical capabilities. Her combat skills are far greater than yours, too. Ouch. Now that you mention it, Mr. Date said something like that before. Um, uh, Mizuki. Well, uh... Thanks. <laughs> Don't mention it. You help me with my homework and stuff all the time. They're cute. Wait a second. Are you Soma's classmate? Well, yeah. More importantly, why are you here, Mizuki? Well, never mind. I don't think we have much time to talk. <laughs> oh! We're fine. Understood. I just received the order. They're all expendable if necessary, including the hostage. Kameji, please hide inside the van with Shoma. You too, Mizuki. What? You want me to hide too? You're kidding, right? You're still in elementary school. I'll be in middle school in the spring. That's pretty much the same thing. <sighs> Just stay out of this, Ryuki. I'll take care of it myself. There's no way. Then at least don't get in my way. Okay, let's go. I don't like this. I'm scared. K 
kill them. Holy. Holy shit, this is badass! Mizuki! Oh. Damn, Ryuki. Holy shit! Displaying sights. Tama. Oh, 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 oh. Ryuki! Oh my god! That was epic. All right. Dang, the teamwork. You said that you were going to kill me. This That's not killing me. Is my son. He's more important to me than my own life. Whatever happens, I... Uh, I won't let you lay a finger on him! Komeji! <laughs> Mizuki 2.0. Dad! <sighs> Oh, they're out of laser Shoma. and their laser guns? Ah, Are you okay? Sense. Forget about me. What about you, Dad? Oh, I'm fine. That last bit I've was a bit stupid, my but body whatever. By taking really, really hot baths. So, why did you... I have my reasons. Your reasons? Never mind that now. Look. It's not over yet. Impossible. How many of them are there? You, messy hair and blue hair. <laughs> Take the old man and the boy to the limousine. I'll hold them off. Then I'm fighting too. We don't need a kid like you here. Go home and watch the Milky Moon anime or something. I'm not a kid. <laughs> then do as you wish. But you have to protect yourself. Got it? Go watch the Milky Moon anime, kid. <laughs> okay, let's begin. If I have to do QTs, I'm not ready. Oh, come on, Shoma. Shoma! Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> I'm ready. Oh! Oh, I didn't know I needed to repeatedly press it. I got shot! blood i was concerned that ryuki was not human but blood just came out of me so like a that's good news i may have gotten shot but like i'm, I'm human that's cool ryuki are you all right yeah i'm fine this hurts about as much as i was my concerned high finals essay <laughs> good being news posted you on the have internet. blood you must be look on it's the a genuine death, concern man. Anyway, this isn't looking good. Ryuki, Mizuki yeah. and the mass woman are fighting far away about. from here. They won't be able to assist us. Then I'll... No, you have no chance with your injury. 
And if you don't make it, you'll put Shoma and Komeji in danger. Then... what do I do? Throw down your weapons. I'm giving it to the count of three. Otherwise, you all die. Fine. One. Two. Three. Who's gonna come and save us now? First it was Mizuki and then the masked girl. Who's gonna come? MoMA? Maybe MoMA. Who's in Victor? Oh, just run everybody over. Date? Yeah! Let's go, Mr. Date! Date! Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll explain everything later. More importantly. Date, he's back. Let's go. Yeah. Hold on. Buddy. Don't get hasty. That was so epic. Let's I have some go. preparations to take care of. Yeah. Now the portal man. What? Huh? Uh. This is so ridiculous. I fucking love it. Oh, oh my god. It's Dante! Damn, bro, what a punch. Holy fucking shit. amazing <clears throat> yeah his increases his power increases by 3.6 times apparently i found me i don't like how that sounds mm -mm. that guy keeps on getting his messages deleted i'm just gonna time him out for a while if I keep seeing the same Happy person. Happy Valentine's Day! What? I mean, it's past midnight now, so the date changed. It's February 14th. I suppose it's a happy day for you, old man. You did get your boy back after all. But, Ryuki... Don't worry about my injury. Mr. Date gave me first aid. But you should get to the hospital right away. Yes, Don't the bleeding may have stopped, but your nerves were damaged. If you leave it like that, the damage might be permanent. Yeah, I know. But first, I need to ask Shoma something. And? Her, too. This is where Mr. Date and Mizuki live. I did consider taking Shoma to the interrogation room, but he would be even less likely to talk in a gloomy place like that. I also had to get first aid for my injured left shoulder. So we had to go somewhere relatively close to the warehouse district. With Mr. Date and Mizuki's permission, I brought Shoma, Komeji, and the masked woman to their home. <gasps> my Tamagotchi! But like, wait, Mr. Date's here! What do you think of mermaids? Slimy. That's what martial artists wear. What? Ew! It became so. Ew! <laughs> of all characters, so. <laughs> yeah, he's in the fucking jar, dude. Like, no. Date, the hard drive was full again. I had to make this space, so I deleted all your cuckoldry videos. 
First, oh. I told you, those are husbandry videos. Second... Why? Why did you do that? They probably weren't husbandry videos, were they? <laughs> nope. <laughs> There's a computer. There's a corkboard on the wall. Ugh. Fine, you want to see the vase again? Just chilling in a vase. <sighs> this game has bad taste. Looks like there's something inside. Magazines. There are a lot of them. Holy shit. Mr. Date, those magazines and the speaker. Oh, oh, those. Those are uh, uh, academic journals I collect as a hobby. Why would you put them inside the speaker? Because they're expensive limited editions. What if a robber broke in and stole them, huh? Okay. Adder rabbit! That's Adder rabbit. How do you know? Oh, uh, well... Because Mizuki is collecting the merch? No! Duh! Oh, Mizuki's just smiling. It feels nice to be home. Ryuki, don't look under that rug. I immediately looked under that rug. Cooking magazines were hidden underneath. There are cooking magazines under the rug for some reason. <laughs> it's a glass coffee table. Refrigerator. Are you hungry or something? Sorry, but there's only a can of beer and some Cleone in there. Why Cleone? I keep them as pets. It's a refrigerator. There's beer and Cleone inside. Pop. Mizuki, you get in that pot with tomatoes sometimes, don't you? I'm not a zucchini. <laughs> I love them. They're back. Hey, don't I always tell you not to hang your clothes there? I don't want your old people smell getting on my stuff. I told you I can't help it. So what if I like oatmeal? Mr. Date, I don't think that's what she said. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, Mr. Date, you can lift this? That's Mizuki's. Huh? Uh, oh, right. That's not that surprising. We did just see her in action. I feel nice being at home. Mr. Date? Do you have a boyfriend? Excuse me? Miyuki, you better not be getting any funny ideas. Oh no, not for me. No, it's not about me. It's about Shoma. <laughs> I thought you and him are kind of a nice match. <laughs> if you don't have a boyfriend, why don't you and Shoma... What? Are you stupid? I don't know what you're talking about. It's inexplicable, incomprehensible, impossible. Even if I were to reincarnate 100 million times, the possibility of that happening. Here. What? It's chocolate. Delagira chocolate. Because it's Valentine's Day and all. Oh! Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Would you look at that? Choma's a ladies' man. Makes sense, considering he's got my blood in him. The moves! That was so cute! That was so cute! For what? If you didn't show up when you did, I don't think we could have saved Shoma. So... Don't sweat it. That was nothing to me. That was nothing. Okay. Mm. Well, Date... Yeah, I asked her to help. I couldn't get there right away, so I sent Mizuki instead. I told her not to start the fight until I got there, but 
Not like I had a choice. Shova was about to be taken away in that van. You know what I love? I, I don't... I didn't realize how much I loved Date as a protagonist until, like, he's not the protagonist anymore. And now we look at him from, like, this... third-person perspective, and it's, like, weird. And I, like, I appreciate him so much more for some fucking reason. Like, whenever you have, like, this different perspective of him, you're like, you know, maybe you were pretty cool, man. I miss you. <laughs> I, like, I miss him! I didn't realize how much I loved him until this happened. And, like, I'm Ryuki. And I love Ryuki, I'm just saying, like, it made me appreciate Date more. <clears throat> How's your injury? Like I told you, it's nothing to worry about. Little injury like this won't bother me now that Shoma's back. Though, there is something I lost in all this. I seem to have dropped something at the warehouse district. It was something very precious to me. Aww. Well, anyway, don't worry about it. You gain some, you lose some. That's just how it is. The thing that he ripped up, all oh, did he drop it there? W wait, Mr. Ryuki. Not in front of Shoma. Okay, we can talk about it here. Why are you bringing this up now? I was just a bit curious as to why you took on so much debt. Is it related to women, by chance? What? For example, maybe you're addicted to cabaret clubs. What's that? Oh my god, Dante. I thought I heard something. Couldn't just ignore it. How do you have such good hearing? He just reacts to certain keywords. So, what's this about cabaret clubs? Um... I was just saying that Komeji might be... Don't be ridiculous! There's no way I could be addicted to something like that. Oh, speaking of... Komeji, I heard you're a regular at Sunfish Pocket. Oh my god. What? A friend of mine told me you go there all the time. According to him, there's a mermaid there that you're really into. Ah, so you know. <laughs> you got me. Oh. I'm embarrassed to admit I'm so into maid cafes at this age. But yes, you're right. Dante's I go there a often. King. But the money problem has nothing to do with that. The debt is from my living expenses. That's just how little I've been earning lately. In order to pay my debt, I had to borrow even more. Before I knew it, the interest snowballed out of control. Anyway, I don't want to talk about this right now. So please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for you. This is all thanks to you, Mr. Ryuki. And of course, everyone else here. Thank you all so much. I miss Date. Uh What was with your burst of power during that fight? Oh that. It awoke in me in third grade. I was walking alone through a deep forest behind my elementary school. <laughs> Wait, we're getting more behind this, no! It was my shortcut to get home, when suddenly, inside a depression behind some bushes, I noticed a lone magazine. <laughs> it was a porno mag someone threw away. The pages were all crusty and whatnot. I crouched down, and my heart was pounding in my ears as I turned the pages, using a branch. Anyway, that's when it happened. I felt a stinging pain on my right ankle. I jumped up in surprise, and there, I saw a white snake. I didn't know what kind. I was just a kid. But even then, I could tell that snake had deadly venom. About three seconds later, I was out like a light. They found me out there the next morning. I was on the verge of death for three days and three nights, but I managed to pull through. And that is how I acquired my Pornomag powers. You mean it was a side effect from the snake venom? No, it was more of a mental thing. I had a near-death experience immediately after experiencing a pornomag for the first time. As a result, Eros and Thanatos inside me, Libido and Destrudo, they merged together in total harmony. In other words, I've come to be acutely aware of death whenever I get aroused. To put it in even simpler terms, I'm pushed to the verge of death whenever I see a pornomag. You know how humans can exert tremendous power in life or death situations? 
It's because the adrenaline triggers a fight or flight response. The same thing Bro, happens when I see a porno story. match. My brain's processing speed increases by 3.6 times in order to avoid death, dramatically improving my reflexes. <sighs> Sorry. I know that story was dark. As if I've touched upon a great evil. You're touched in the head. <laughs> you can touch upon my great evil. Oh my god. That was so great. Oh, uh, I've always wanted backstory to why he has this, uh, this fight or flight response with porno mags. Ah, uh, it all makes sense. Oh my god, this is insane. The reason you like porno mags. You nearly die when you see porno mags, don't you? So then why? Ah, excellent question. I'll answer with a question oh my of my God. own. Why does a mountain climber seek the top of the tallest peaks? Why does a surfer want to ride the most monstrous of waves? Why do people climb up the highest buildings <laughs> to do parkour or whatever? What the why do they do such reckless things? The For the thrill? Yeah, it's how they know they're alive. They can experience firsthand the wonder of life itself. That is the reason I continue to climb the mountain known as pornography. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna change my last name. <laughs> I think that would be a good idea. <laughs> God, I miss Dante, man. I miss him so much. <laughs> It's Mr. Date. He seems to be deep in thought about Iva. She still hasn't come home. Supposedly, she's on a top secret mission from boss. Ah, uh, God, I'm dead. Woo! Uh, thinking about someone? Yeah, I was just thinking about Lian. I was with him in Golden Yokocho right before I went to the warehouse district. That's right. You know him That's too. Right. I met him when I was drinking at Brahmin. One thing led to another, and we started talking about each other's collection of literature. He seemed pretty proud of his collection. As two kindred souls sharing the same hobby, we lost track of time discussing our love of reading. We even promised to trade our most precious belongings. We've been sworn brothers ever since. Oh, but that's not what we're talking about today. There was something I want to ask him about the HB case. You've been investigating too, Mr. Date? I'm on vacation, so I'm just doing it on my own time. I can't get this case out of my head. Literature, yes. <laughs> uh, what did you talk about with Leon? Certain rumor regarding Horidori Institute. I asked Mr. Date about their discussion, but it was all information I already had. I didn't learn anything new. No matter how you slice it, there's no doubt that Horidori Institute is involved in the case somehow. Yes, the Institute and Terror are closely related. The previous incident proves it. But what's their connection? The QR video was based on Bats 490. And Bats 490 was created by Nyes on Tokiko's orders. Tokiko knew the director of Horidori Institute, Chikara Horidori. In other words, Nyes, Tokiko, Chikara, and Horidori Institute are all connected. And Terror is somewhere in there. Or maybe Terror is the one who's orchestrating it all. I'd like to hear your thoughts, Mr. Date. Me? Hmm. No. There's not much I want to say. But I don't want to confuse you by telling you something that I don't know for sure. I'll let you know once I get a bit more info. Fine, be that way. The reason why you went to the warehouse district? I contacted him before going to the warehouse district. It's always good to have allies backing you up, right? But Mr. Dati is on vacation. If my precious subordinate is in trouble, I'll come flying to the rescue. Thank you. You've always been so Aww. good to me. I've always wanted to repay you somehow, but I... Don't worry about it. As long as I have breath in my lungs, I won't need your help. But when I die someday, I'll need you to do me a solid. What? Don't say that. When I die, I want you to wipe the hard drive on my computer. How about I bust it open for you right now? <laughs> no, please don't. <sighs> I, I hate him. Why is he like this? <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, thinking about 
about something? Time. I'm thinking about the passage of time. Time? Time goes by so quickly. Seriously? What is with that woman? Hmm. She helped us earlier, but that doesn't necessarily mean we can trust her. Hmm. Why don't you take a peek? Winksync, huh? No. I want to Winksync Date. I don't want to Winksync the masked woman. I didn't go there. I was there already. What? I'd rather not have to deal with you laboring under a false impression. So I'll give you some information. I've been independently looking into the genome editing research at Horidori Institute. At Horidori Institute? Yes. I've been trying to get a handle on the movements of the researchers there. They made their move just a few hours ago. They mobilized a big group of them into the warehouse district. So I climbed on a crane and watched the events unfold. You mean you were just watching as Ryuki and I were fighting? Yes. But I realized that if I didn't step in, the old man and his boy would be killed. That's why I helped. Aren't I generous? <laughs> thank you. You thank her too, Shoma. Genome editing research? I told you I'd give you some information. That's the extent of what I'll tell you. Why? Because someone here may be leaking intel to the Institute. I nearly told her that's ridiculous, and then I stopped myself. Because... Yeah, Komeiji. Hold on. I need a snack. Banana time! No, I will not. Though I guess it would be more accurate to say I cannot. Not yet. This mask is secured in place by an extremely powerful special adhesive developed by NASA. What the fuck? If you try to take it off by force, it would take my skin with it. What? Come on. That sounds really bad for your skin. But you said not yet, right? Yes, there is a way to remove it. So why not do it now? I am a woman of beauty beyond compare. If I removed this mask, blood would erupt from the noses of the four men here, and they would die of blood loss. In other words, I'm saving your lives by keeping this mask on. Damn, Quite kind of girl, them. damn! Really Sheesh! Today is February 11th, National Foundation Day, isn't it? But the doctor decided to give you a special consultation anyway. You should thank him. But I have to say, the doctor is at fault too. That was a bit harsh. Oh, um, well, about your remaining life expectancy. This may not offer much comfort coming from me, but please don't feel too down. The doctor's diagnosis isn't always correct. That was... She seems to have some sort of illness. Hmm. Connected? Oh! I'm not gonna rule out the possibility. Are you feeling okay? Why do you ask? No reason. You saw me fight earlier, didn't you? I'm perfectly healthy. There's nothing wrong with me. I see. That's good. Yeah, okay. I believe you. Um, show me. Wait, why are you saying oops? Hmm. 
how you got kidnapped. I was at home, and those people in the suits, they came barging in. Then they made me inhale some kind of knockout gas. When I woke up, I was in that warehouse. Did they ask you anything? I don't know. You don't know? I don't remember. Maybe it's because of the gas. I was groggy the whole time. Rip. I saw that envelope containing Horidori Institute's secret documents there. Can you tell me how you're linked to Horidori Institute? Shoma, answer him. Sorry, but I don't want to talk about that. Why not? Because I don't! Oh boy. Hmm, okay. Uh, that's awkward. Oh, did I miss a Tomagachi notification? <clears throat> what would you do if you see someone crying? Obviously, I would cheer them up. Like, what? What's the point of doing that? You're gonna get mixed up in trouble. Go back to your vase. So. Uh... Are you okay? I'm fine. But really. I guess I should thank you. Thank you for saving me. Did you say thanks to your dad? I don't need to hear him say it. As long as Shoma is safe, that's all I want. Mm, where's the envelope? I burned it, so I don't have it anymore. You burned it? What? Why? I asked a lot of questions, but what I'm most curious about is the relationship between Shoma and Horidori Institute. Do you intend to sink? It's all I can do. What about the hospital? How long do you think I can last? You do realize that you should be getting medical attention as soon as possible? Ryuki. But I guess there's no point trying to convince you. Knowing you, you're going to do it anyway, aren't you? Thank you. I'm blessed to have such an understanding partner. Jeez. Jeez. Shoma, there's one thing I want to ask you. Will you let me look inside your mind? What? Shoma, I think it's a good idea too. Could you help Mr. Ryuki out? But this is all out of nowhere. Why not help him? Ryuki and your dad saved your life. You need to repay the debts you owe. It's just the right thing to do. No. Oh. Fine. Then... Alright. I guess we're doing this. We're just never gonna go to the hospital, are we? Like, Ryuki is in a permanent state of just... He's not okay. The machine looks pretty intimidating seeing it like this. I'm getting a bit nervous. But you already have experience with it. There's nothing to worry about. By the way, about Horidori Institute, we started searching the place. We have the staff in custody now, and they're being questioned over at HQ. But they're all refusing to talk. It's going to take some time to get info out of them. Ryuki, about your shoulder. It's fine. Please begin. <laughs> Pewter. Very well. My shoulder's fine. <clears throat> Ryuki, are you ready? Yes, I'm good to go. All right then. Let's begin.
Your internet's taking a poop. Oh. Checking if it's my end, but no, I'm good. No line. Computer doesn't get to say you only have six minutes. Oh, his house. This is Shoma's house. A stereotypical home. Hey, Tama, can you pretend to be a newlywed wife? Why? I'll give you 4,000 yen. That's an eerily specific amount. Ah! Please, I need you to be a wife. What? Fine. Do it. Hi, baby. I was waiting for you. Oh my god. Do you want some dinner? Or a bath? Or maybe meat? Thank you. Magnifico. <laughs> anyway, this dream world Magnifico. is a little dull. Yeah, there's a melancholy feel to it. Maybe this is Shoma's state of mind. He's holding something dark inside. In cases like this, if we solve his Somnium, he might open up to us. Yeah, good idea. And we might find out how Horidori Institute is involved in all this. Somnium scan. Activate. You'll take the meat? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Super groovy! Thank you for the tier 1 sub. Appreciate it. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the emotes. <clears throat> Five! That's a lot of locks. Shoma seems to know the secret of Horidori Institute. By repairing his wounded heart, you might discover repressed memories. <clears throat> Aw, welcome, Super Groovy. That's super sweet. It's still not funny. Oh yeah, his coat. Uh, yeah, he really don't like the comedy acts. Uh, yeah, That's hope you the enjoy the stream too. Welcome. Always wears. Is this all he has? Smell it, ew. Let's tickle it <coughs> first. Tickle, 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 <coughs> tickle. Hey, hey, you like this, right? Tickle, tickle. I know this was my idea, but it was a bad idea. <laughs> <sighs> I thought Shoma might have a memory of being tickled, but it didn't work. Should we be more direct? Shoma used to blank, but blank to the world, but blank. Komeiji's outfit. No! I'm an AI ball. I have no sense of smell. I meant but to hit the timey smell, thing. Right? I mean, we are in a dream. I don't know about this. Come on. I didn't mean to smell it. I did not. Huh. Think. Something is weird. I figured it would have that old people smell. But this smells like Bolsa and Vagana. I mean, don't old people like that cologne? Komeiji's outfit. I wanted to use the time thingy. Why? Nothing is better to heal Shoma's heart than a smile. So... Okay, leave it to me. Um... Dad! Dad! Why did you disappear on me? Literally disappear? So this is a brand new 10,000 yen bill. This world is becoming more and more cashless. Look! An invisible man! No, he's just naked from the waist down! <sighs> you know, this might have the opposite effect. <laughs> Why? People watching on the TV were going crazy! <laughs> Shoma's dad is so unfunny. Huh? Yeah, Andy's Kameji sucks! And you've never made us laugh either! Hold on! 
We used to... Yeah, lameness must be genetic. So true. Now that's funny. We don't want to contract your unfunny disease, so we're gonna stay away from you. Stupid dad. Why me? This happened to Shoma. Even from a young age, he's had a rough. I hate this world. It's all fake. The only thing I can believe in is the world I make. Shoma rejected the real world. He decided he belonged in a world of his own creation. For him, the world he created was the real world. Hey, we can inspect that model. <clears throat> Shoma used a blank, but closed his heart to the world. Is this a model of a house? <laughs> Whoa! Tama, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Huh? Whoa! Is that Shoma from earlier? Seems like he went inside that model. It looks just like Shoma's house from earlier. But the colors are more vibrant here. Maybe that symbolizes his belief that this artificial world is the real world. Those are the clothes Shoma ripped up earlier, but it looks like cardboard. Maybe it's a wound in Shoma's heart. I bet we have to do something with this. Let's fix it. Began blank and became blank. Actions in his blank blank as well. I love all the blanks. All right, so. Fix with scissors, fix with glue. Probably gotta do multiple things. Fix with tape. Yeah, fix it with a hammer. Andy's Komeji's outfit? Fix yourself! Well, I tried. How is this supposed to work again? I don't know. Then why did you tell me to do it? It was funny. Shoma used to laugh a lot, but closed his heart to the world. Let's fix it. Let's just tape it together. The best thing for fixing a tear? Tape! I did it! It turned back to the original outfit. We used to play together. God of energy! Inti! Inti! Pachaka Max! We used to laugh together. <laughs> hey! That's no fair! <laughs> Laughed. <laughs> Hold up! Andy's is the best! Stupid dad. And it's still not funny, but it's not cool. Shoma began making his own world and became blank. Actually, he was I wonder if that really happened. Maybe he tucked away the good memories in the world he created. The painful memories were played too, not just the good memories. Yeah, poor kid's heart. Even deep down, those painful memories remain. Shoma and his dad need to have an honest heart to heart. Huh? Looks like we made it out of the model. Ryuki, you have five minutes left. What? Bullshit. It's an older model TV. What's protruding out of the top? It looks like a spout or something. So we need to pour something in there? I don't know. 
Maybe it's just for show. Laugh at the TV? Uh... I don't fucking know, man. Just laugh at the TV. You want me to laugh at the TV? Yeah, laugh yeah. at Yeah, I was thinking it could bring back memories of the father and son laughing together. Okay. <laughs> huh? I heard laughter from the TV. Hmm. Should we turn it on? No. Deep down, he still loves to laugh. Aww. That? A TV with... Ah, uh, turn on the TV. And just like that... Shoma. God of laughter! Lucky, happy, Pachaka Max! Look at what you did! You really ruined the atmosphere. Um, uh, God of apologies. Sorry, sorry. Enough already. You're past your prime. I can't even stand you. That was so uncool. Why does he have to be my dad? That's what comes from being a comedian's son, I guess. But he shouldn't blame Meiji for that. I wonder if we can change Shoma's heart by going inside the model. Come to think of it, we haven't found anything on Horidori Institute yet. We need to help Shoma first. Good point. We can't leave him like this. Huh. Is that...? Shoma was stabbing it with the screwdriver earlier. Did the hole get bigger? We should fix this, too. Began making his own world and became detached from reality. Actions in his creation. Link as well. Okay, so repairing. There's only one option. This is probably Kameji's suitcase. I'm guessing it's for his props. Go on a vacation? Yeah, just go on a vacation. Let's do it. Huh? Suitcases are used for travel, right? Maybe Shoma has memories of going on a trip. Give me a line. Yeah, sure. Shoma, we're going to Machu Picchu. I'm gonna train my comedy skills at a World Heritage Site. Rip. Wait, can they even afford to go to Machu Picchu? No. I never specified Machu Picchu. Actions in his creation impact the outside world as well. Kumeji's. All right, we'll just open it. <sighs> no good. It's not opening. Kumeji's suitcase. All right, throw it. Where should I throw this? Uh, over there somewhere. Yeah! What the shit? Uh, is it okay? It came back. That's unexpected. The suitcase isn't even broken. Four minutes now. Four minutes already? Kumeji su- Tickle it. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> Stop! It, it tickles. He's laughing so much. There's something inside. Huh? 
A drawing of Komiji's face? I wonder if Shoma drew it. It's a drawing of Komiji's face. Cut it out? You want me to cut it out? You idiot! I can't cut something important like this! Jeez, you don't have to yell. I have an idea. Can you cut out just his face? If this ends up hurting Shoma, I'm going to cut your face out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, done. Try covering the hole in the TV with it. no sense for comedy why does he try so hard <laughs> oh the little giggle he got a little giggle he's conflicted he wants him to do well but he doesn't want to see him anymore Came back. Why am I laughing? This isn't how I really feel. This can't be true. It's all lies. Shoma is confused. Huh. We can't go inside the model anymore. The sign for interaction is gone too. Maybe Shoma is starting to accept reality. Right. We did fix a lot of things. He's starting to comprehend what's real and what's artificial. Oh, nice camera angle. <gasps> My Tamagotchi! Hi, So. What would you do to reconstruct a dead town? All of these options suck. Secret base. Are you an elementary schooler? Yeah. Get back in the base. It says something. Let's see. Your dad is not funny. From now on, your name is Lamo Enda. Nice to meet you, Lamo Enda. These stupid kids! Fuck off! Stop making fun of him! Relax, Tama. Stupid kids indeed. This isn't real! It's all fake! Everything in this world is fake! All fake! I'm fake! Everything is fake! Yeah, that's it. I just need to make everything fake. I don't believe it. Shoma. This is not reality. Maybe on the other side. I thought we were close to a breakthrough, but his imagination is running away with him even more. This house we're in is just a model. No, everything is fake. This made up world is fake. Reality itself is fake. Everything is fake. There's nothing we can do. What? Why are you giving up, huh? We still have time! Sorry, you're right. It's too early to give up. Shoma started to dislike blank and stopped blank.
Linguistics, math, science. It's gotta be science, right? It's a science textbook. There's no name on it. Fixed with a screwdriver? What the fuck? How does this make sense? Fixing with a magnifying glass? I don't How are we supposed to fix this? Why don't you flip through it first? Whoa! It's on fire! Extinguisher! Oh, the notebook is fixed. You're right. That's it, though. Nothing special about it. I'm sure it has something to do with being picked on because of his name. His name, huh? Oh. It's scratched it's up? It's a math notebook. Aww. Part of it is blacked out. Oh. Fix it with an eraser? I'm going to erase the blacked out parts. Shoma Enda. Dad, why is my name Shoma? Oh, you want to know how you got your name? You know, I actually wanted to spell the show part of your name with the kanji for laughter. It was going to be spelled with the character for laughter and shine, like a shining smile. But when I told your sister, she said, Why don't you use it as your stage name? Ha 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 ha. I need to brush up on my comedy. Yeah, you do. Everybody's a critic. Anyway, I decided to change the kanji for your name. The kanji for show can be congratulatory or mean happiness. I was so happy when you were born, I made it a part of your name. But to me, you still have the laughter in there. Because I wanted you to stay smiling forever. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Stop making me talk about it. God of shyness! Oh no, please! Not the spotlight! Stop that! Oh, sorry. <laughs> laughter and happiness. No, <laughs> oh, fuck this game. But smiling doesn't suit me. This name. I don't want to accept it, but Shoma believes Nyes' teachings and believes the world is fake. By suppressing his feelings, the world has lost its color. I think it's a good name. That's why smiles suit him well. Yeah, we need to convince him. I don't need this memory. I don't need this name. It all hurts. I'm not even real. The world, Dad, it's all fake. Hmm. Oh, the rooftop amusement park. The barber said, they're waiting for the ear to come on down. Got him, haircut, snip, snip. Oops, got your ear. Stop. It's not funny. A lot of factors led to him becoming an introvert. I'd like to fix every little thing, but the trophy Shoma destroyed disappeared. Can you find something like it? There has to be something. You have three minutes left, Ryuki. Focus. Three minutes left. A refrigerator. I want to open the door. So? Prop comedy? What if I lift a fridge?
Oh, surprisingly late. Holy shit! Huh? Isn't that the Adder Atta Rooster turned into Flatter Rooster? The Atta Rooster. What was that? Hmm. There's miso soup inside. Why is it? What? What the fuck? What's that? What? Hmm? Um, okay. I, I guess we heat it up. Paralyzed? Had a rooster. What is this? Are you doing this? What are you doing? Why? No, Ryuki, help me, Ryuki. trophy for that I I don't want it it's an old dresser wish we could look inside make them laugh comedy duo Uh, I guess it's the same thing. I'm going to do an impression of Ryuki. Don't mess Nurse, with the rooster. Pour some yeah. soy sauce on me, oh, please. God. Right down the middle. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, here it comes. Your sauce is all over me. I can feel it on my skin. Yeah? I have never said that. Hmm? Are you sure, Ryuki? The dresser isn't reacting. The dresser isn't gonna laugh. You told me to make it laugh. How is that gonna make it laugh? It's a normal dress. It's a normal dresser. She sounds so upset. What do you want me to do? Just go with the flow. Do it. Your instructions are way too vague. The other day, I hit my heart on the corner of the dresser and I thought my pinky toe was gonna explode. Other way around. Hey, do you think we could have just opened it normally? I guess we could have. There's yeah, you could have. Inside. Ripped origami? Let's leave it on top of the kotatsu. Mm. Oh, that only went up a very small bit. However, now he does not accept his dad and has thrown away that memory. It's a monowheel robot Shoma made. There's something under the tire. I wonder if it'll move out of the way. Smile at it or beat it up? I can't do that. We're definitely gonna run out of time. It may only be a robot, but we need to show it love. <laughs> hey, Mr. Robot. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> You're downright bipolar. Ha! Oh my god, it worked. Oh, it's reacting! It's a ripped piece of paper. Let's leave it on top of the kotatsu. Shoma gave his dad a gift to support him. Oh. That was his support? What the fuck? 
It's a normal work. We're gonna do a prop skit, Tama. Again? It'll be good this time. It's gonna bring back some sad memories again. The pond. All right, I'm going to escape this uninhabited island on this. That's a raft? What? A third form? An enemy who gets stronger when they get smaller? What time do you think it is? Morning. In the Showa era. <sighs> hey, look. This is squishy. I hate them. A kind of mighty hammer. Oh, Mama. You have a place here, too? Marble's second branch. Whew. Seems like the grading scale for laughs was lower this time. Maybe it was always open. Oh, it's a ripped piece of paper. Let's leave it on top of the kotatsu. <sighs> this ripped paper must have some significance to it. Should we try to repair it? It is one sheet. The tears match up. Let's try putting it together. Why would you fix it with... what? You're gonna tape it together, right? Tape, of course. Tama, you okay? Yeah, somehow. Mm. I didn't think that memory was going to be that bad. Why did Shoma have such a negative reaction? Sometimes the best memories make the hurtful ones worse. If you're not in a good place, the last thing you want to do is look back on all the times that were better. Shoma doesn't want to see how he was back then. Back before his heart was broken. That's how he stays sane. That must be hard. You only have two minutes. Hurry, Ryuki. Oh god, we are very tiny. The metal we fixed earlier. Gah! I'm not young anymore. Dad! Dad! Dad, you're the winner in my eyes! Super duper gold medal! You were amazing! Wow! Now this is a super duper gold medal! Thank you, Shoma! <laughs> <laughs> Super duper gold medal. Maybe if we use that, can you hold the medal? I'll try. That robot's chest part is open. I think it's busted. Maybe if we fix it, Shoma will be healed too.
do Komeji's routine. I have some time to kill, so I'll do that. I think the key to the Somnium is laughter. I've seen Komeji skits hundreds of times. I got this. When did you find the time to do that? God of underwear! Panty, panty, bloomers, max! God of sticky situations! Pinchy, pinchy! Okay, that's enough. Oh, Let's dang. try something else. That view. Hello. It's a broken toy robot. This is a gold medal? Yeah. Wedge it into the chest area there. Roger that. Right in here. I have to pay you back for giving me such a nice gold medal, Shoma. I congratulate Shoma Enda for coming first in the championship of gold medal making. Wow, it's a robot. Hmm. Shoma, you've noticed it, haven't you? The feeling I've been holding inside. You ignored your dad, and you ignored your feelings, didn't you? Stop! I don't want to see you anymore! I've had enough! Shoma... No one is laughing! I accepted it. Stupid. You're wrong. That stupid job. That's not true. He should quit! That's not what you want. He's a shitty father! You don't think that. I don't care about anything! You should know. I really... What you really want to say. I really... Dad, I... I love you. <laughs> I'm home to the max! I thought there was an earthquake today, but... It was just the studio shaking with laughter at my jokes! <laughs> huh? What's wrong, Shoma? Hey, Dad. I think I understand you a little more now. I think I understand me more, too. <laughs> I wanted to say I'm sorry for so long. It's okay, Shoma. A comedian? It's the coolest job ever. And I'm so, so proud of you, Dad. You are? Really? This world isn't fake. My heart feels so warm inside right now. This feeling has to be real. I know this world has to be real. He got it back, his heart. He should be able to open up more now. Yeah, you're right. You know. Shoma does look best when he's smiling.
video games are ass. I feel like I've been dreaming for a long, long time. And it's a painful dream. My Tamagotchi. I gotta go take care of it. What pet do you want in your pond? I want a Kappa. I'll be right back. I have to pee. This game is dumb. Such a nice view. Yeah. Oh. How do you like the Ferris wheel at night? It's not bad. You should have let my dad on too. He's waiting in a corner of the park. I thought it would be easier for you to talk if we were alone. No, that's not true. Things are different now. Good for him. Aww. Looks like the chastity belt of his heart has unlocked. Um. We showed the security guard at Misatan our police IDs to get in here. We told him this was regarding the investigation and he let us through. The main power at the amusement park is still on and the key to the ferris wheel control board is still stuck in the ignition. So it'd be easy to move this. Ah, oh. Where did the BATS 490 code really point? I decoded the message and went where it led me. To an underground floor of the Nyes Japan building. They called it the Cathedral. That's where we were. The president, Miss Shigure, was waiting for me there. She complimented me on decoding the message and invited me to join Nyes. That's probably why Bats 490 was being spread in the first place. Tokiko did mention that. We have been, have been seeking, seeking high, high IQ, IQ individuals, individuals with the capability to decode it. The purpose was to recruit them into Nyes. Miss Shigure told me all sorts of things about Nyes' ideals. And I was sick of the world at the time, so when they told me this world isn't real, I fell in love with Nyes' beliefs right away. They told me to keep it all a secret. You cannot tell anyone about the secret of the world. The secret of the world, known by only a handful of people. I felt like I was special, just knowing I was one of the chosen few. That's why I didn't tell you the truth. Why did you lie about the secret message? I thought I just told you. No, that's not what I meant. You deliberately lied about it pointing to Horidori Institute. You could have chosen not to say anything at all. But if I didn't say anything, you would have taken me in, right? Then I'd get tortured and injected with the truth serum, and you'd force me to talk about the secret of the world. I lied because I didn't want that to happen. Is that what he thinks the police do? <laughs> well, he is still a kid. Horidori Institute was the first place that popped into my head. I've been there lots. And I hated the director, Mr. Horidori. Aww. 
Hey go Kev, thank you so much for gifting three subs to the community. I really appreciate the support. Thank you. That so I really wanted sweet. to bug him a bit. It all started with the test. The results from my health checkup at my elementary school came back abnormal, so they wanted to do more tests. But instead of the hospital, I was taken to Horidori Institute. Oh. The test results show that you have some very special genetic abnormalities in your DNA. It's extremely rare. Only one in hundreds of thousands of people has it. One day, and it will be soon, you will fall ill to an incurable disease, and it will take your life. The only way for you to survive is to receive gene therapy through genome editing here at this institute. So I started going to Horidori Institute, but it wasn't true. Not really. Wait, who are this? I don't know who this is, Kev. <laughs> Chat, tell me. <clears throat> I mean, nobody would really want to touch Chikara with a 10-foot pole. Let's be real. Nobody really would want to. Um, deaths? Tokiko, the professor, and the first victim, Jin. Jin, quote unquote. Oh, okay, okay. I'll make sure to check them out. <laughs> yeah, no. Wait, I'm getting this tutorial again. Unlimited sync? Wait, once you clear Somnium, you can select it in unlimited sync. Oh, the purple has to mean sync then. Okay, because, yeah, no, we didn't die. I wonder what this route would have done. Ah! I'm very curious to see Mizuki's route after this. And technically, this is still six years in the past. <laughs> like, we're still six years ago. We haven't even got to, like, the fucking present day. <laughs> this is so fucking weird. Oh, man. Mystery games. Yeah, I'll check it out. Thank you guys for letting me know. I always like checking out new cool people. Yay! Yeah, this is the sequel. A very direct sequel. <laughs> About that envelope. I stole it from the Institute. Found it on my doctor's desk. It said it was top secret, so I thought it must be super important. So, I grabbed it and put it in my pocket. Inside the envelope was pieces of paper with writing all over it. It was written in German, but I managed to figure out what it was saying by using a translation app. There actually wasn't anything wrong with my genes. It was all for the sake of research. Horridori Institute was rewriting my genetic code. They used me for human experiments. When I found out, I talked to Director Horridori, but he acted like he did nothing wrong. Why are you upset with me? You should be grateful. Your body is now special thanks to genome editing. Also, I would advise against pulling out of the experience now. Your body is still in a transitionary stage. It needs regular testing and medication. If you stop now, all the cells in your body will. Okay, I kind of figured dissolve. this, but um, there's no way that Shoma's the only one. Um. Hmm. Let me take a quick look. Uh, I'm forgetting names. I mean, the person was only mentioned literally one time. That's the present. We're still six years ago. Uh, masked woman. Chikara dislikes death. <gasps> oh, 
the receptionist. Ayo! Okay, no, um... I... Okay. Mmm... My brain is trying to connect dots. So, uh, I think that uh, possibly the, the girl that went missing... I don't remember names. It was mentioned one time. Richie. I Owen had that one child go... Uh, uh, that, that, that has to be plot relevant to... Still missing person... So, um, there's also the weird connection that Mizuki had with him as well. They had with each other. I'm still thinking about that. It's like in the backlog of my brain right now. But that girl, I'm wondering, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of making the assumption that the masked woman here is the person, is the kid who went missing. I, I don't know. My brain's like, yeah, that makes sense. Person goes missing and this is that said person. But then there's also Gen. I'm curious about Gen as well. But, um... If this is... Uh, she also reminds me of Mizuki a little bit. Udu something. Yeah, I don't remember names. They... <laughs> Like I said, the name was literally mentioned just one time. But uh, I'm kind of wondering if this is this girl and uh, uh, also part of being a, an experiment. Like, what if she also has some genetic encoding done by Chikara as well? Maybe that also explains Mizuki's strength. Maybe Mizuki at some point in time. got that so we actually have an, a proper explanation for why mizuki is this strong that would be even weirder though because that would go back years before the game right so uh, i don't know <clears throat> skilled at getting spanked you bet <laughs> that's a receptionist for you You missed this one inspector guy. What's his name? <laughs> Rip. I don't know. Rip that guy. The papers in the envelope didn't have any details. And Director Horidori didn't tell me anything. Do you notice any changes in your body? No, not really. It's the same as usual. Does your father know about this? I don't think so. I haven't told him. I didn't want him to worry about it. And Director Horidori threatened me not to. This should go without saying, but I want you to keep this a secret. Inspector Gadget, Don't yeah. Don't tell the police, your family, anyone. If you do, I'll be forced to destroy all of the data and the medicine that you need. And you know what that would mean, don't you? Thanks for telling me all this. It's going to be a huge God, help for the so investigation. <laughs> no need to thank me. I owe you my life, Mr. Ryuki. And besides, I decided to be honest from now on. I see. I like the look on his face. Aww. Yeah. He looks much better you when know, he smiles. I actually wanted to spell the show part of your name with the kanji for laughter. It was going to be spelled with the character for laughter and shine, like a shining smile. Because I wanted you to stay smiling forever. You have a nice smile, Shoma. It fits your name perfectly. My name? Name. 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 Wait, I remember something. What is it? When I was being kidnapped by the researchers, I met Terror in the warehouse. What? I Why would you not say that earlier? Face because they had a metal mask on, but I'm sure it was Terror. They said. I am Terror. You've heard of me, haven't you? Metal mask. I told you I was only you, my true name. But you're just a My name is Dahlia. 
I don't buy it. Why would you tell this random kid your real name? Mm. Sus. <laughs> They do use the same voice filter, yeah. But it gets me every time because they make it loud! <laughs> By the time we get off the Ferris wheel, it was already bright out. The sun is rising to the east. It shines brightly, diffusing through the white haze covering the city that had gathered in the cold night. Aww. Welcome back, Shoma. Aww. Dad. I'm home. And thank you. You risked your life to protect me, right? So... Shoma, I'm so sorry. Until now, I've always been thinking about what's best for me. I always said I was doing things for you, but I was just being selfish. I've caused so much trouble, at work and for you. Your mother and sister, too. But I'm done being selfish. I can't put you through any more pain. I'm going to quit comedy and get a normal, regular office job. Don't quit! What? I like your comedy, Dad. I like you as a comedian. Shoma. I don't care if kids make fun of me at school anymore. I won't let them say you're uncool. You're trying to help people with your jokes, right? It's just like when you protected me. <laughs> you put your heart and soul into it so you can make people laugh and make this world a happier place. And I think that's the coolest thing ever. So, so, I don't want you to quit being a comedian no matter what. Is that? Dad. You dropped this at the warehouse district, didn't you? That's where I picked it up. And when I went to the police earlier, I borrowed some tape and fixed it. He borrowed some tape from the police officer. Oh my god. Congratulations, uh. Dad. <laughs> you won the best dad in the world championship. It's a landslide victory! <laughs> <laughs> you try so hard as a comedian, and it's kind of lame, but you're so cool at the same time. You drink too much, have nose hair sticking out, and wipe your face with hand towels. But you're my super dumb funny dad, and I'm proud to be your son. Boy, that's one spectacular prize. A landslide victory for me, huh? Thanks a bunch, Shoma. <laughs> By the way, Dad, there's one favor I want to ask. God of energy, Inti Inti, the Chaka Max! <laughs> God of laughter, lucky, happy, Pachaka Max! <laughs> God of apology! Oh, sorry. <laughs> God of seasons, warm, hot, chilly, cold! <laughs> God of shyness! Oh no, please, not the spotlight! <laughs> Ryuki, you should get to the hospital soon. Oh, yeah! Yeah. Our shoulder, by the, the case way! case isn't solved yet, either. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. But just a How bit. How could I forget? I, mean, so... I, I want to watch them a little bit longer. Hey, well, Ryuki, I, remember that time you got shot? Though. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. But I'm sure they'll be fine. Remember how you never got treated for it? Yeah, great times. As long as they have smiles... Their world will be saved. <laughs> hey, Shoma. Uh, what did you think of that joke? It was great! 
Dad, you really are the best comedian in the world! Mahar! <laughs> what the fuck? Mahar! What? That's an end? Oh, okay, I fucking hate this game. Well, first ending we get, huh? Okay. Komeji and Shoma root end. And we never got healed. So that means we died. Ryuki died of his wound. He he died making them smile again at the cost of himself bleeding out. This case isn't closed yet. There are many truths. Uh, many, wait. The truth of the HB case, terror's objective, the future of the main characters. The story branches at the Somnia. Okay, so we'll go back to this latest Somnia and not protect Shoma. Oh, that's gonna be... What if he dies? What if he dies? Then what? At least it's a happy ending, that's true. That's surprising. We got a happy ending. Wait, if we got the one happy ending, that means the rest of the endings suck. That's what that means. Yeah, they want me to choose money after that, exactly. Woo! Well, this is gonna suck. There was only, like, one happy ending in the first game. Right? I only remember one happy ending. Super stand up battle! Can Tama win for a big no, week in a row and take the seat of grand champion? Uh, I guess stand up show kind of. I, it depends on your perspective. Yeah. Uh, in this world... Oh, oh, wait. I don't need to reread this stuff. Okay. Oh, my Tamagotchi! What's your favorite torture tool? Rat. I'm not close to done asking the questions. I'm close to done. I'm curious about everyone else's answers, so I will go on a journey to the other world. Bye, So. Everyone say bye to So. He died in his vase. <laughs> Who's next? What do you think of shrimp? They're red. <laughs> red and sign off bucket. Anyway. Um I guess I also never really looked for like the hidden balls. I since we know what to do, I guess I could I could use my eyeballs to find some eyeballs. Although, I I'm still not seeing any. Okay. Oh, there's one right here. It's... it's a... It's a, in the audience. He's got a Eyeballs, good amount of I feel like it's just really hard to see the eyeballs. 
in this one. The glowiness doesn't really come out that much. Ooh. Uh, autograph? White Milky Pulse. I don't want to hear that, no. Definitely, there's supposed to be five, so we definitely miss him. They act inflate the balloon. I think that was it. Ryuki, you have five minutes left. I'm fine. Also, you're not pewter. Shut the fuck up. Uh... Oh, now I have to prepare the money. Oh, no! <laughs> this feels like shit. Okay. Just need to get some money ready, and those Yakuza guys I met at one of my shows, they said they had a good paying job for me. I guess I'll just have to take a chance on that. Oh, no. Let's go. What I need to help Shoma is... Bitches, money, and sex. If I have to, blank. Whatever happens to me, blank. Four minutes now. It's a shooting game. I can't picture Komeiji playing this. All right, try it, Some, find someone good at games. Let's ah, try it. I don't even play games. Well, I guess it's like a shooting game at a carnival. Here I go. Oh boy. Oh, I'm not a target? <laughs> <sighs> Tama! Won't play. Maybe he won't do it himself. Well, in that case... Even if I have to break the law. Oh, oh god. A shooting game. The cue for this game is... Uh... Oh. What? You want me to play this? Oh, uh, I I'm not good at this. <laughs> hey there! You look like a shooter. Why don't yeah, you Yeah, this is a big a murder mystery game. This is the goods. I'm gonna take the pay. Don't worry, it's untraceable. Thank you. What is something important? Apparently not Shoma. Oh no. Andy's Komeji was selling firearms? Huh? Komeji is gone. What? He's over there. Oh, he's making her break for it. I knew one of them was money. Money and bitches. Komeji is trying to get on an airplane. His expression is so... dead. Tama, get in position to show Komeji a cue card. out to people nearby. I'll take it for the thing. Hello, everyone. Andy's Komeji is in your town. Hey, look, I'll come back over and over again. So true. He's coming back over and over again. 
Why are you so excited about this? Hey, everyone! Andy's Komeiji is talking! Give me some kind of reaction! Ah, crap. That's enough. I'm getting off. Komeiji got off. Yeah, he got off. I wanted him to go around a little more. Oh. Oh, money, money, and then bitches? Ryuki, tell me. Oh my god, telling him to jump off, that feels awful. I can't do that. What? Another? Uh, what do you want me to say? If you quit now, your debt's only gonna get bigger. Why? I gave you all your money! You're nowhere close. Oh, hi Going man. round and round again, Komeiji. You're stuck doing laps for us just Thank like you, this Thank you, Simrich, for the 27 months. I really appreciate it. Komeiji had a hard time getting away from these shady characters. I'm guessing he could only pay off the interest. Crap! I forgot my bow tie. Hey, where is he going? What is this? I know. If I have this, this is my ticket out of here. This is victory. This is my gold medal. What did Komeiji find? I'm going after him. Oh boy. Should be the last one, I would think. What? Is this? Oh god, I guess we take it. If it's not it, then big rip. If I take this with me, they'll have to pay me. There's no way they want this getting found. And it'll fit perfectly in my suitcase. <laughs> It's just sitting there, practically begging me to take it! If I take this, I can escape this life. This is my chance to finally get ahead. I can't go back now! Komeiji took something home in his suitcase. I'm guessing he was going to blackmail someone. But what could it be? Well... Yikes. Well, we did it. Uh, I already don't like this route. It's already depressing. Rip the kid, I guess. <laughs> Throw an ab. Money, money, money. And a rich man. Smiles for tears. Uh, this feels like shit. Mr. Komeji, I've taken a look inside your mind. You've been involved in gun trafficking, haven't you? There are other things I'd like to ask you about. May I have a minute of your time? Hmm. Yo, look at this mirror, though. Hey, Ryuki, looking good. I see you. I'm gonna go get a snack real quick. Not plot chips! Peanut butter pretzels! Fuck yeah! I don't like this room! This feels like shit. Isn't Ryuki more than enough of a snack? Bro, you said it, not me. 
look, my brain didn't even go there. <laughs> but you right. Like, you absolutely right, but I didn't say it. All right. Uh, what did you find on the rooftop? Oh, was that was that gun you had for trafficking? Okay. All right. What's the connection between the gun trafficking and your debt? Uh, what were you doing at the institute? Okay, we're getting we're getting somewhere. Mr. Komeji, you're treading dangerous waters here. At this rate, Shoma could also be put in danger. Please, talk to me. For Shoma's sake. You don't have peanut butter pretzels in Germany? Yeah, they're really cute. It's like this little square and there's a little cube of peanut butter inside. You can shake it and hear the peanut butter inside. It's really cool. It's really awesome. Shoma, can you protect him? Do you want me to protect Shoma? As soon as I know he's safe, I'll tell you everything. Are you okay? I have Shoma safely under custody. I'll put him on the line. Shoma, are you okay? No. The cops came and put me in the car, and now they're driving me to the station. I see. What did you do, Dad? The police are after you now? I knew you were dumb, but not that dumb. No! Uh, I'm sorry. Shoma, I'll have to fill you in later. I need to talk to your dad for now. Uh, okay. But... This feels awful after doing the other route. I should have done All this right, first. Ryuki. I'll leave the rest to you. I should have done this first. I don't like it. Now, please continue, Komeji. Or do you prefer Mr. Enda? Yes, I I've racked up a huge amount of debt. I've been getting hounded by collectors. Eventually, they started threatening me with this. Listen, Andy's Komeji. Your dear little boy is in elementary school, isn't he? If you don't pay the money you owe in one month, we're taking him and selling him overseas. Am I clear? I couldn't talk to the police. No, this about is what very you said far from endgame. Gangsters selling guns and I was an accomplice? It was all for money, but... I've always wanted to cut ties with that lot. But I couldn't do it. I had no other way to pay back the money I owed. The money I make as a comedian is just a drop in the bucket. Well... The thing on the rooftop of Misaton. You know about it, don't you? Yes. You walked away with it in your suitcase. It was so you could blackmail someone. That's right. Is this related to Horidori Institute somehow? Mr. Ryuki, uh, please take a look at this. What's going on here? Why do you have a Nile message from a serial killer? <laughs> that thing it almost found went down my shirt. belonged to Terror. That's what he was talking about in the message. Are you saying you tried to blackmail Terror? I guess so. Bruh. Anyway, that's why I went to Horidori Institute. The entrance was already open by the time I got there. But there was no one inside, as you know. I had no choice but to wait there. And then you showed up. The things you wouldn't do for your kid, right? Holy shit. Why did you have that gun? You're right. I was involved with gangs and their gun trafficking operations. That's where I stole the gun I had. I was knee deep in some dangerous business and I thought I needed a way to protect myself.
Do you still intend to hide things from me? <sighs> Mr. Komeji, I'll ask you one more time. What is this thing that's so important to terror? Come on. Fine. I'll ask a different question. Where is it now? Will you bring me with you? If you do, I'll tell you. Oh my god. This ain't gonna end well. Mr. Komeji, isn't this... Yes, it's my home. This makes so much sense that it's actually confusing. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> so, where can I find it? Ah, oh, right. Uh, <laughs> where was it? I must be getting old. I'm having oh trouble God, remembering. Oh my God, he baited us. Mr. Come Komeji, on, dude. please. You can't tell me that after bringing me all the way here. Where's the ambush? I know, but uh, what am I supposed to do if I can't remember? We have no choice, Ryuki. Let's just start looking around. Come on. Ryuki, shall we play hit and cover rock, paper, scissors? What are you talking about? We don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah, we do. I knew it. I knew it all along. It was the broom. I should check the living room first. Why the fuck would I check the living room first? They really want me to check the living room first. All right, fine. I'll take your fucking hint. Lucky laugh game. Nothing behind the picture. Boy, robot. Shoma's toolbox. Ooh. Hmm. Nothing really stands out. Oh, okay. Well, that x-ray was pointless. Chest of drawers. I got that when I won first place in the quiz tournament. So this they is They stole Adder Rooster from Terror? That's what he's been trying to, to hide this whole though. time. Terror was definitely interested in the Kotatsu. Nothing here, huh? There's something like seaweed on the ground, though. I don't think that's relevant right now. <laughs> Buzzer? I don't know why the camera does that sometimes. It just like jerks in a direction. The remote control? The closet. There are only futons inside. I doubt Terror had an interest in this. I mean, who wouldn't have interest in, uh, you know, a futon? Mr. Komeji, are you really sure it's here? Yes, He's it should time. be. Oh my God. How strange. Where is this where we die? Gone? This is like the Ryuki Look at this. death ending. I thought so. What is he thinking? I've had enough of this. If you're going to keep lying to me. Huh? Why are you all here? Ryuki, you left Shoma at Abyss HQ, didn't you? How awful of you to leave him all by himself! Huh? What in Miss the Iris, Miss Mame, and I were having dinner at Yurakucho. Then I got a Nile message from Shoma. That's when we found out about the questioning. We also found out Shoma was in police custody. This is bad! It's a super mega big deal! That's what we all were thinking, so we headed over. But he was done being questioned by the time we arrived. That is why we decided to bring him here. Huh? 
They all know Shoma? Seems so. Shoma and Mizuki go to the same elementary school, so that's probably how they all connect. Huh? Give it up already, Dad! I already hated you for being unfunny, this pathetic, and so unpopular, and now you're a criminal too? Did the police tell you that? Yeah, they told me everything. But it was all for you. Stop making excuses! You did all that bad stuff, and you're still trying to fight back, lie, and trick your way out of it! I'm sick of it! Shoma... Dad... Dad... You should just die already! <gasps> He's gonna pull the gun out. Oh god. What? Okay. What is it? Holy shit. I thought that was getting dark. Oh my god. You're still trying to blackmail this could a be serial killer? Ryuki. If we go to Dabaita, maybe we can catch terror. Mr. Komeiji, we'll put our search aside for now. I'm going to Devita, alone. I can't bring you along on a hunt for a dangerous criminal. No, you can't. Terror will run if you show up. I need to get his guard down first. You should hide somewhere. And once he shows up, you appear. Are you sure? Yes. I'll be the bait. This is the least I can do after He's what dying. I've done. He's definitely gonna die. Oh god. And then Shoma's gonna live with a bunch of regrets. Streams buffering? Is the stream buffering? Let me check. I have zero drop frames. So yeah, just refresh. Komeji went into the studio alone. Before he did, he started a video call on his smartphone. I hid out of sight watching the video and waiting for something to happen. But no matter how long I waited, it didn't seem like terror would show up. I eventually ran out of patience and walked into the studio. He's going to be dead. Okay, not dead. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> oh no, is Ryuki gonna have a moment? Oh no, Ryuki's gonna uh, error code out. Uh, oh god. Uh, oh god. Uh, no! Uh, <laughs> Why? Ryuki, are you okay, Mr. Ryuki? <sighs> Wait, what? What? What was that? What? What happened? Did Tama... What happened? His eyes dead. Oh, good. You're okay. I don't think I'm injured. Why are you here? We will explain later. First, can you tell us what happened here? I don't know. I started seeing things. Then I lost consciousness. Phew. I managed to come oh. back. Tama. After you lost consciousness, you were attacked from behind. A high voltage current was delivered to your back, and I was short circuited. I wasn't able to use any of my functions. But, as you can see, I was able to bring myself back online thanks to my self repair program. Did Terra do fuck? this? I don't know. I didn't see the attacker. I don't know anything about How does a video do this to people? Your you mean lost consciousness? Yeah, whatever. So. Where is Komeji? I don't see him here. No, 
now he's gonna see it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mr. Komeji, why? Tamagotchi. I knew this was gonna happen. Someone was gonna die and then my Tamagotchi's gonna be like, yo bitch, answer my question. How many legs do you like? How many legs? What do you mean how many legs? What kind of a fucking question? You know what? Fuck you. I like zero legs. Mermaids for the win. It's dead. What? Ryuki, you should talk to the others first. I figured that something was up with you guys at Shoma's house earlier. I heard you were talking about terror and going to Divida, so I got worried and came over. Oh, but we did not come here right away. We first discussed whether we should track you down. I think it was about two and a half hours after you left that we decided. We thought we should just come straight here and... It's 11.30 p.m. now, by the way. No. I didn't see anyone until we got inside the studio. I guess so. Um, well... Ah, oh, there you are! Oh my god. He's back. Here you are, the receipt for your card payment. Bruh? Oh, thank you. Bruh? There's a dead guy. Excuse me, but who are you? Hmm? What? Oh, I am but a humble taxi driver. I forgot to hand you the receipt earlier. So you drove these four here? Indeed, that is correct. I was always quite bad with machines, you see. I let others handle the TV, the music, and other such things. Oh, one time I wanted to listen to a CD, there but I didn't know how to open the CD player, you, so I smashed it with my fist. Okay, bro. why are you telling me this? That is just how terrible with machines I That's am. That's great. Good that is you. why I could not handle the card payment as smoothly as I would have liked. And while I was fumbling my way through the payment... He said that the girl with the blue hair in the passenger seat ran out, so it was... Mommy did? So she got out of the car first. Naturally, I was quite flustered by this rowdy display. And so I continued to fumble for three, four, no, perhaps even five minutes or so. I somehow managed to process the payment, but I was still quite bothered. I returned the credit card, but in my haste, I completely forgot to hand over the receipt. Okay. That's... What were the other three in the back seat doing during all that? They were waiting the entire time. The card was Kizzy's, but she was sitting on the far left seat, so Shoma and I didn't get out. Well, now that that's settled, I will be off. Um, if you'll excuse me. Thank you, very cool taxi driver. I can't link sync now. Not enough battery. Not enough battery? What the fuck do you mean? By anyone, do you mean the culprit? Well, anyone at all. Like, any suspicious figures, maybe? No, 
We did not see a single soul. I see. Are you the ones that helped me? That is a bit of an exaggeration. We simply untied the rope that bound you. Rope? Huh? Must be that one over there. What? I was tied up with that? Yeah. Your hands and feet were tied really tight. What in the fuck? So I go unconscious, they stun gun me, and they tie me up. What? When we arrived, we found you on the A ground. A little in bit that of state. overkill, don't so you think? Kizzy and I untied the rope. Y yes. Kizzy, Shoma, and I went into the studio together. Mame was already inside. That makes it weird because what that, we that would imply that Does the person knew to that? stun gun me because they they knew I had Tama. Why else would they do it? They could have just like tied me up, but no, they went the extra mile to stun me, which means the person has to have knowledge that I have this eyeball. No, it's nothing. I see. No one saw anything. Holy shit, she's fucked. She seems very shook up. We should let her be for now. Did you see anyone? Tama, have you contacted Abyss and HQ? Way ahead of you. The investigation team should arrive soon. I've also arranged for a counselor. All four of them are in a really bad mental state. Yeah, no shit. Good call. Uh... Sh Shoma? Are you okay? Uh... Stand there, Ryuki. Go after him. R right. This is ours. By the time I ran out of the studio, Shoma was already gone. The other three must have decided to split up because they scattered in different directions. I thought it'd be better to search a wider area and got in my car, but... I don't see him anywhere. No response on his phone, and his GPS is off. Where did you go, Shoma? We had to find him after he stormed out like that. Who knows what he'll do in this state. <sighs> Calm down, Ryuki. Think about where Shoma might go. Where he might go. I got it. Shoma must be there. Hmm. I don't know. Anime, man. How did he run so fast? Anime. big deal. It's a ferris wheel. You'll come back down if we just wait. Yeah.
what? It just moves on to the next. Why is this so awkward? <laughs> well known. Anyway, this is all a load of bull. Today is Valentine's Day. What? It's past midnight, so it's February 14th now. Oh, but I don't really care about that right now. How can you not care? More importantly, Shoma was on the number two car, right? Why do you ask? Because... Yes, he definitely went in number two. I thought so. If that's the case, he should be back soon. He's... Is he in there? What? No. How? He jumped off at the top. Did he? How? We checked every one of the cars, but I don't see Shoma anywhere. We are living in a false world created by a program. Therefore, if we can rewrite its code, we can create miracles. Okay, you shut up. It can't be. Impossible. It can't be. It can't be. I know Shoma went on that car. I saw it with my own eyes. And yet... Oh my god, this is not real. Okay, Ryuki. Uh, hold on! Uh, don't tell me it's happening again! Ryuki? Ryuki? No, 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 don't do- no! was never an option. Ah! Oh, okay. It's just eight hours later. <sighs> Tama, do you know about this place? I heard about it from Mr. Date. Look at him. This shrine worships a fruit called the Fruit of Immortality. If you eat it, you will gain eternal youth and life. Look at him. Hey, Ryuki, I'm gonna be honest with you. You're not well. Mentally, I mean. You haven't been for a long time now, and I think it's getting worse. You should really see somebody. I'm fine. Coming to the shrine has calmed me down. I'm fine. I have no light in my eyes. But I am doing okay. Coming here doesn't solve anything! Praying to a god or Buddha isn't going to heal your heart! Please, Ryuki. Oh my god, I hate this. Okay then, you want me to go to the hospital? Before I do, let me ask for one thing. Can you replay the scene from Studio Devita right now? Ryuki... I want to solve the HP case, no matter what. No, I have to solve it for Komeiji. Especially now that he's... Sheesh, you're really... Fine, I'll do it. But promise me that after the investigation, you'll... Yes, I'll go get checked out. Oh, promise. The light okay. came back in his eyes. Yeah, I promise. Now, close your eyes. Let's do this. Holy fucking shit, dude. Uh, Ryuki is scary. I'm very scared of him. But he's hot, bro. Like, this is this so. Sucks. What did you want to investigate here? Something's been bothering me. You see that camera on the tripod that's tipped over? When we got here, 
It wasn't like that. Why did it fall over? Could it have been terror? But why? I don't understand why, but it could only have been him. No, that's not true. There's another person that could have tipped it over. When we regained consciousness, there were four people here. Iris, Kizuna, Mame, and Shoma. The first one to go into the studio was... A Mame. That's what Iris and Kizuna said. Are you suggesting a Mame tipped over the camera? It's entirely possible. But why would she do that? That's what I'm going to figure out. All right, let's do this VR activation. The kettle is on the floor. Must have fallen off the table. I wonder how it fell. Someone did a pile driver on it. Either that or it was bumped. Watching a protagonist spiral is terrifying. It is terrifying. It's fucking terrifying. That one video was playing on the monitor. This is where you lost consciousness. And me, right after. It's the rope that had you in the tortoise shell bondage position. What? Tortoise shell? No, that's not true. Oh? Was it a crab tie? No. No crabs, no tortoises, no shrimp, nothing. Anyway, look at the rope. There's a fake nail. It matches what a mommy had on. It really isn't standing up. Yeah. Could it be the alcohol's fault? It happens all the time. Don't worry about it. What are you talking about? from the water saying that it's still warm the prince couldn't be more than a few minutes old by the time this data was gathered so right before we regained consciousness yeah can you tell me whose prince they are judging from the shape and size absolutely a mommy's the prince lead to the door over there the door on the west side the door on the west side of the building is locked I don't think we can open it from this side. Are there any other exits? The only other door is the door to the east, the one we entered from. So, east and west. Just the two exits. What's the estimated time of death? Roughly an hour and a half ago. Based on the time the body was discovered, of course. So roughly 10 p.m., February 13th. We woke up here around 11.30 p.m. Oh, I just realized that this is the past. So this is like six months after the first game takes place. And I think it's supposed to fail because like six years in the future, when Mizuki takes over, they say that like the case gets dropped or something and never gets solved. So maybe that's, oh, oh, okay. I don't know why I just thought of that. I just... It's weird. The floor is wetter than my... Please don't even say it. Would you prefer the word moist? I think there was hot water in the kettle. It must have been in keep warm mode. That must have fell and... If a mommy. Oh. Okay, it looks like we're pretty much done investigating here. I think I can make one conclusion. Oh? Care to share what that is? First, think about what Mame did when she first entered the studio. Judging from the trail, I think she came to me first. 
She couldn't have come to me after stepping in the warm water, because if she did, it would have left prints. So the first thing she did must have been to try to untie me. That's when a bit of her nail broke and stuck to the rope. But then, something happened that stopped her. Something? I'll tell you later. Anyway, she stopped trying to untie me. Where did she go from there? She definitely bumped into the table. The electric kettle is on the floor. Right, but before that... Oh, sorry. Here. Mommy must have been in a hurry. She tipped over the camera by accident. And then what? <clears throat> she came here next. Mommy ran into the table, which caused the kettle to fall, and the hot water spilled on the floor. And then? Oh, my Tamagotchi. Hold that thought. What food do you like? S sweet. I remember the taste of my first love. Mm. Well, if we trace her footprints, they stopped right in front of the western door. But the door was locked and it didn't open, so she couldn't get out. And then... Tama, do you have any ideas why Mame stopped trying to untie me? Mm-hmm, I sure do. But continue. I want to hear what you're thinking. Okay. Here's my answer. It's simple, actually. I think Mame saw Terror enter the studio. While she was untying me, Terror came across the scene. They ran over to her to try to take her out. That's why the body was left in such an unnatural position. I see. We're on the same page. There are still some question marks, but... Well, putting that threat aside for now, shall we get started? Start what? Filming, duh. Again? You got a problem? <laughs> so, are you ready? No. Okay, <sighs> here we go. All right. Said no. We're doing ready. this. Ready. No means yes. Action! I'm going to cast you as a mame. Recreate her movements. Let's start with when she first ran into the studio. Her first move was... You're a really shitty actor. <laughs> what did you expect? Ryuki! Mr. Ryuki! Mr. Ryuki! Snap out of it! This is when her nail fell off. Mame tried to untie the rope and... Oh my god, I love Ryuki. <laughs> That's when Terror ran into her. Since Terror is blocking the east door, she can't go that way. So she tried to run to the other door. Okay, let's see your best performance. God. Why do you make me do this? Okay, go on. Run away. And then, run into the camera. That's a heavy fucking camera. Then How run do you into just the run table, that over? And that drops the kettle. What and... the fuck? She discovers the west door is completely locked. Ugh. Cut! You were doing so well. Nice. Anyway, she was cornered and... Huh. What happened after that? This is what I was trying to get at earlier. And one more thing. When you asked Amame if she saw the culprit, she shook her head. Why did she lie? Hey, Tama. You collected all the data in this studio, right? Including X-Ray? Yeah. In that case... Oh, no. 
had to save this for last. They they were already working together. There's a person with a gun. They have a gun. They have a gun. They have a gun. They have a gun. I knew it. What? Terror? I think so. So when we regained consciousness, they were in the studio? That must be the case. Wait, you didn't notice, Tama? I thought you had x-ray vision. I thought it was part of the set. Anyway, they have a gun? Yeah, a 50 caliber automatic handgun. That could do some real damage. Holy fucking shit. This next bit is just speculation, but... Terror headed to the western door and cornered Mame. But then must have... Heard footsteps coming from the other door. Iris, Kizuna, and Shoma. Of course, Terror probably had no idea who they were. Terror must have said something like... Don't tell them I'm here. If you do, I'll shoot you. Then they hid in the set, since their only escape route was cut off. That's why Amame lied. She couldn't have said anything with Terror threatening her. Probably. Holy shit, that's terrifying. I don't know guns. I don't- I, I, I have zero knowledge of guns, so I don't know how- Deadly that is, or whatever. What a shame. Terror was right there, but we couldn't get them. There was nothing we could have done. Shoma was the top priority. Anyway, there's only one thing we need to do. Let's find Mame. She saw Terror in person. She's a key witness now. Maybe she has some information. Something about Terror we don't know. Maybe a voice, or how they walk. Hey, Tama, where is Mame? I don't know. Her smartphone is either off or somewhere with no reception. Oh. I asked Tama to call Kazuna, Iris, and Gen to ask if they knew where Mame was. None of them picked up. Hold on a second. What about your promise? Fine, I'll get checked. And I want to talk to Shoma. He's at home now, right? That's what Tama said before I came to the shrine. I have no idea how Shoma will be able, was able to get out of the Ferris wheel. I don't know if it's related to all of this, but I had a strong desire to find out. So we have three objectives. Finding Amame, getting checked up at the hospital, and meeting with Shoma, right? Yeah. Fine, we'll tag along. Not to mention today is special for partners. Valentine's Day. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Anyway, let's get going. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. It do be, apparently. Oh god, that's a lot of places to check out. Let's go to... Fuck if I know. Let's go to the Brahmin World Cuisine. Yeah, that would have been really terrifying. Hi, I'm in the room with a murderer. There's a person with a gun standing right behind me. That's fucking terrifying. Good thing Shoma ran out because I don't know how else that scene would have played out. Amame. She was here earlier. Really? She left pretty quick, though. Oh, boy. I don't think we're getting any flavor text. These are pretty serious times. Um... Mm, 
Where is she? Well, she said she was headed to Iris's house. The Sargon household, huh? Thanks. I've been trying to get a hold of her, but... Oh, can we see Hitomi? Her phone is out of battery. She told me earlier. I see. Why are you looking for Amame? Jen and Mame are close. Jen? Gen. Uh, I can't tell him there's a reason to believe Mame ran into terror. I don't want him to worry about her. I'll play it Well, on. uh, you see... Why didn't you pick I up the phone? I was so busy today. We're expecting a lot of customers, so I have a lot of prep to do. Why are you expecting a rush? You know about what happened in Shinjuku yesterday? We're actually pretty close to there. What do you mean? You haven't heard? Someone shot off a rocket. Luckily, there weren't any casualties. So anyway, there's tons of people around here now. I thought some of them might stop by here. Uh, why was Mommy here? It's Valentine's Day today, isn't it? Well, she brought some chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah, why? Is something wrong? Mommy saw a terror at the studio. Right after that, she saw Komeiji's body. But she still brought Gen chocolate? I tried calling Iris, but still no dice. We should just head to the Sargon household. Yeah, good idea. Weird. Let's go to the end of residence. <laughs> Thank you, Hope. Better safe than sorry. Hey! Don't get in the Kotatsu without permission. It's cold out, and I'm cold. What are you doing here? I wanted to ask a few things, but before that, Shoma... Um... No, never mind. Don't worry about it. I decided not to ask him about what happened at the studio. It would be cruel to remind him, not to mention I didn't want him running off again. It would probably be best to avoid talking about Komeiji and the interrogation from the cops. I wanted to ask about it. Anything with the adder rooster? So I should be able to wink sink. Oh, I feel like the wink sink is going to be really depressing if I do it though. <sighs> Shoma, you still haven't told me why you lied. Lied? About the code for Bats 4 9 That wasn't referring to Horidori, but you said it was. Sheesh, can you just let it go? I didn't solve the code. Yeah? Do you know where she is? I have no idea. Dad. Dad. I shouldn't have said that you should die. It's all my fault. <laughs> Shoma. I'm sorry, Shoma. This might be hard for you. But can you tell me about Komeiji? Komeiji picked something up at the rooftop amusement park in Misaton. Something that is meaningful or significant to terror. But he didn't tell me what it was. I thought you might know something. Sorry, but I have no clue. I see. How did you get out of the Ferris wheel? Huh? What are you talking about? The Ferris wheel at Misaton. I didn't go to Misaton. What? That's impossible. I definitely saw you get on the Ferris wheel. Maybe you saw my doppelganger? Or maybe... my clone. Your clone? <laughs> No, I don't think so. I mean, we may have the technology for it, but... I've never heard of any human clones. 
Not to mention, it's forbidden by law. The law doesn't mean anything. That's true. Not to a psycho like Chikara. <laughs> what do, do you mean? Laws. Not allowed to make a clone. In, in Japan, at least. I don't know about other countries, but like... You can't even do it. Yeah, they're researching cloning. So maybe they secretly made my clone. Impossible. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well... I'm not kidding about Horidori Institute research and cloning. Just about cloning me. How do you explain the Ferris wheel, then? Maybe you were seeing things. Seeing things? Maybe you got the TC Purge. Purge? What is that? Last year, they invented a way to edit genomes called Purge. Purge was developed by Horidori Institute. TC Purge is kind of like a virus. People at Horidori Institute called it the organic nanomachine. It acts kind of the way a virus does. When it enters the body, it latches onto bacteria, and a protein complex called CRISPR-Cas beta is made. CRISPR-Cas beta can cut, move, and attach certain DNA nucleotide sequences. When it enters the brain, it can even overwrite the DNA structure inside neurons. Um, by the way, this is going to be on the exam at the end of the stream. Take notes. It can make you see things, make you dance. It makes you do weird things over and over. And on top of that, TC Purge multiplies in the body. It takes over the multiplication functions of bacteria and makes copies of itself. And it can be passed to other people with your breath. Shoma, how do you know all this? Well, there's just some stuff. There's some stuff. Ryuki, we can hold off on Horidori Institute. We need to prioritize. Yeah, we need to find Mame. Lame. Kumakura office. Don't know why this is a thing. Yes, CRISPR cast beta. Hey, Ryuki, what's up? I wanted to ask you something. It says, those who only eat the crackers in cracker and peanut mix should be executed. It's my dream to do it on a sofa. Why would you even say that out loud? <laughs> hey, look! I'm a flying squirrel! Did you hear something? Nope, nothing. Uh, what do you mean by grungier? Oops. Oh my god. They're all more detailed. They are. I like them. This month's plans are laid out on the whiteboard. 25th. Go see dolphins at the aquarium. <laughs> Yakuza, by the way. That's good though, it fits the mood. That law. Keep up the great work loves you lots less than three. Darker looking dirtier. Not as bright and clean. Yeah, I think it fits the mood. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Um uh uh Neon Fox, thank you so much for the eight months. I really hey, do appreciate it. See those lanterns? You're not gonna do one of your stupid sex jokes again, are you? Really? You see them? Please don't make me participate in this. Do you see them, Ryuki? Yes. What are they? Lanterns. Lantern these nuts? <sighs> I 
You want me to hack it, right? I tried, but the security is too strong. But if you give me about two, three minutes, I'll be all good. I didn't ask. When did they start producing the game? Granted, localization is like one of the last things you do. So the localization could have been anywhere from like six months ago. So D's nuts is, you know, they're trying to make it as current as possible, you know? Sink Momo. Oh my god. Oh, my Tamagotchi. What do you think of mermaids? I guess they're cute. I'm trying to do a different answer because I think I said slimy last time. You have to respect your elders. If you're not respectful, they'll slap you. Yeah, it's going to feel weird. They also mentioned like TikTok earlier as well. I like when games do that because whenever you play games like these in the future like it, when you don't play these games when they're current you play these games later in life and then you see all the jokes and the references of like that current time and i don't know i i kind of like that little bit of flair to games sometimes to show you you know what time the game came out gives it a little personalized touch how you doing not bad tonight Tessa is gonna have a Valentine's Day stream. Oh, thinking about it makes my heart dance. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna wink sing. Oh shit, a shooting star. I want chocolate from Tessa. I want chocolate from Tessa. I want chocolate. Damn it, I couldn't sit a third one in time. <laughs> <laughs> Momo is such a lost cause, man! What the fuck? Why are you even asking me? Yakuza have connections all throughout the underworld. Oh, so God. So I thought you might know something. <sighs> anything would help. Rumors, anything. Rumors, huh? So our parent group, the Ujisagi, there's this higher up that's connected to Nice. I did hear something from him. The president of Nice Japan, Tokiko Shigure, she was in a relationship with the head of Horidori Institute, Chikara Horidori. Relationship, lol. Uh, the Ujisaki family is a diabolical criminal group. They earn their income through illegal activities in the underworld, but they also seem to be receiving requests for work from secret societies. It seems that they have connections with the Freemasons. You know, Freemasons, a fraternal society said to have been created in the late 16th or early 17th century. They have members all over the world. They call each other brother, and they operate from the Grand Lodge, their headquarters. The symbol of the fraternity is a builder's square and a compass, the tools of masonry. Oh, and one more thing. The Eye of Providence is also famous. It's a triangle with the shape of an eye in it. That design is also considered one of the symbols of Freemasonry. By the way, there is a story that the Boy Scouts of America was also created by Freemasons. The Boy Scouts of America is ostens ostensibly an organization that seeks to improve what? the characters of its members to make good people even better. But actually... Of course, this isn't recent. We're talking decades ago. Back then, Tokiko wasn't even the boss. She was just some grunt at Nice. But Chikara, on the other hand, was pretty high up the ladder at Nice. You're not allowed to have opinions. To get with Tokiko. <laughs> not in this house. Tim Back when she was in her 20s. <laughs> I heard she was a hottie. But like I said, 
She was young and naive. Chikara basically tricked her. He was married at the time. He even had kids. Tokiko was his mistress. Real secret relationship type shit. About mommy. Yeah. Oh, I meant that's whatever. all I know about that. But I do have some more dirt on Chikara. This was also decades ago, but Chikara went to child service agencies all over Japan and got something from them. What? DNA samples. He said it was for DNA treatment or something, but I don't buy it. My guess is he was doing something shady. Horidori Institute was real sketchy back then. About mommy. You're talking about a mommy doi? Tessa's friend. So you know her? <laughs> of course. I know everything about Tessa. So what about Mame? She might have some valuable information about the case. I'm trying to find her. Do you happen to know where she is? Sorry, I got no idea. I see. Hmm. hmm. So Tokiko and... Tokiko and Chikara in an illegitimate relationship. They definitely had and a kid. Chikara getting kids DNA. Hmm. You can't convince me otherwise. They definitely fucked and had a kid. Let's figure it out later. We still need to find Mame. All right. Let's go to Central Hospital. Oh no, I don't like this. I don't like when that happens because then that usually means Ryuki's gonna. I'm glad we had an open room for you. What the fuck? It's quiet here. You should be able to relax and focus on your treatment. Treatment? Oh, you don't have to worry about the paperwork for your stay here. We'll handle everything. What the? Uh, hold on. What the fuck? My stay here? What are you talking about? Hmm? You don't remember? Remember what? Hmm. This is troubling. Hello? Come again? Stay at the hospital? Mr. Ryuki, do you remember getting a checkup? I'm sure the doctor would have told you everything. No, I have no idea. I see. Then I'm afraid I'll have to be the bearer of bad news. Mr. Ryuki, you have what we call cognitive dysfunction. Sometimes you'll forget what time it is or where you are, even lose track of the people around you. It's all part of your condition. In addition to that, we believe that you have a short-term memory disorder. Tama, is this true? Yes, it is. This is difficult for me to say, but your condition is very serious. We need to begin treatment immediately. What the fuck? Um, I'm going to get the files. Wait, what? I'll be no. right back, so please wait here. Wait, I didn't Excuse get the wink, me. thank you. Wait, we weren't done talking. Wait, no, come back. Okay, I went to the hospital like I promised. Now let's get going, Tama. What are you talking about? That nurse told you that you need to stay here. I don't have time for that. I need to solve this case. Please, Tama, just three more days. I refuse. Fine, just one day. 24 hours is all I ask. Please let me do this. Please. I'll give you some chocolate later. Are you joking? You know I can't eat chocolate. <laughs> no, I mean like emotional chocolate. Em <laughs> emotional chocolate. My favorite kind. 
Ah, fine. But you're only getting 24 hours. Not a second longer. Thanks, Tama. <sighs> Rip. Well, I did want to talk to the nurse. I'm upset that I didn't get to wink sync. Emotional chocolate, the best kind of emotional damage. Fuck yeah. Uh, oh boy. Oh my god, it's already been six hours. Uh, I'll go for a little bit longer? I lost track of time again. Doesn't look like Amame is here. But wait, Leon is. Oh no. Leon is obsessed with Kizuna, and Kizuna is Amame's friend. Yeah, he might know where Mame is. Let's ask. Oh, you again. What's up? Do you know a girl named Amame Doi? Oh, Kizzy's friend. Of course I know her. Do you know where she is? Yeah, I do. Really? I saw her earlier. Where? Hmm, I don't know. Give me a hundred thousand yen and I'll think about it. You can't be serious. I'm low on cash. Come on, Ryuki. Fine. We'll do this. What? Leon. Do you have a 500 yen coin? Yeah, I do. I'm going to look away, and you put it in one of your hands. If I can guess which hand it's in, tell me for free. And if you're wrong? I'll pay you. All right, sounds good to me. Let's do this. Don't be- Ryuki, peep. are you okay? Okay, I'm ready. Oh, we have x-ray vision. Oh my god. We can cheat. Guess, which hand is it in? <laughs> Forgot about that. What if I purposefully say the wrong thing, though? I'm very tempted. <laughs> <laughs> saving my game. Watch I like watch I like get a fucking game over or something. Huh? What is this bullshit? <laughs> Too bad. Oh. <sighs> Fine. I gave Leon the cash. Huh. Just drops a Thanks, thousand man. bucks on this Wait guy. Wait a minute. This is a coin from Bosnia and Herzegovina. I said I'd pay you. I never said with what. <laughs> Damn it. You got me. Why the hell are you even carrying around coins from Bosnia and Herzegovina? What the fuck? It never hurts to be prepared. How long have you been sitting on that one? Well, fine. I did make a promise. I saw Mame at Ion. Oh, God, it hurts. Why? 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 Oh, I hate this game. Please. By the way, one convertibilina marka is equivalent to 8 64 yen. So 100,000 whatever marka is 6,400,000 yen. That's so much money. How rich is Ryuki? I don't think Leon knew that. Sheesh. Oh my God. Why is Ryuki so rich? The only backstory we get is that his parents were rich. Well, why the fuck were his parents rich? Oh, wait, his parents are Chikara and To. Koki, tuck it, fucky, fucky, wucky, whatever her fucking name is. They had money. Makes sense. Ion. 
That's the child services facility run by Richie Chieda. He's in his father. It's Valentine's Day today, right? We promised to meet up tonight. But I couldn't wait any longer. I want to see Kizzy right now! I don't need to talk to her. Seeing her from afar is enough. So that's why I went to Ion. It's kind of like wanting to watch porn before going to happy ending places. I don't think this is anything like that. Mame was there. Mame, Kizzy, and Iris were talking. They had real serious looks on their faces. I couldn't barge into their conversation, so I left without saying anything. They were discussing something serious then. Those three saw Komeji's body at Studio Devita. Maybe they were talking about that. Why are you even looking for Mame? Well, you see... Wait, is Mame a suspect in the HB case? What? No, that definitely couldn't be it. Wink sink. Oh, Kizzy. Yeah, I'm excited for tonight. We should meet. Okay, okay. I'll see you there. Oh. Uh, uh, what are you drinking? Thought I told you that before. It's Alfre, non-alcoholic beer. Did you buy that? Uh, of course I did. Okay, maybe it's true that I did steal a lot before. I know it's nothing to brag about, but they did call me the master of unlocking. Ugh, but that's all in the past. Did you always steal by yourself? It depended on what needed stealing. Sometimes I went alone, sometimes in pairs. If it was a big target, like some mansion in the boonies, I'd go with a team of five or six guys. The leader of the group was Akumakura. You know them, right? That's how I met Moma, the chairman of the Kumakuras. I was usually partnered with Quartz. They were kind of like a bodyguard. Helped me out whenever I got in a sticky situation. Why am I even telling you all this? I think I've said too much. Please forget it. It's all in the past. Like I said, uh, a date with Kizuna today? A date? I guess it was a date. Because it was Valentine's Day. Yeah? Why do you ask? Nothing. Just... Kizuna saw Komeji's body at the studio, and then went on a date with Lian? Maybe she had an ulterior motive. Why do you think Mame is a suspect? Oh, actually, four days ago, on the 10th of February, I saw Mame then too in front of Horadori Institute. She didn't notice me, though. Anyway, Mommy headed into Horadori Institute by herself. What business does she have at that research facility? That's what I was thinking to myself. I saw another person follow her in right after. It was Tokiko. Tokiko Shigure, president of Nye's Japan. I know what you're thinking. Why would you think she's suspect just because of that, right? Well, you're right. I don't even know if Mame and Tokiko saw each other in there anyway. Not to mention Tokiko was killed two days ago, on the night of the 12th. So maybe it's got nothing to do with it. Nah, it probably doesn't. Just coincidence. But for whatever reason, it caught my attention. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna see Kizzy tonight. I need to head to the beauty salon first. Beauty salon? Anyway, adios. Why was Mame at Horidori Institute? Four days ago. It's interesting that Tokiko was behind her as well. Hmm, Horidori Institute. I remember. The goal, the goal was to, was get, to inside get inside the, the hidden, hidden room inside, inside Horadori, Horadori Institute. Institute. We totally put that on hold. We need to go search that hidden room. Ugh. But going now would be pointless. If it's a hidden room, it's gotta be a secret and locked up tight. They're not just gonna let us in there. Anyway, we should focus on the task at hand. Find Amame. Yeah. Lian said he saw her at Ion.
Look at the concrete bench. Wow, look at all these trees. Oh my god, oh my god. Crazy, I know. Look at the wooden bench over here. To marble. Oh. Less gory than the Cyclops. Well, that's because these bodies are drained of blood. It would be gory if blood was involved. But the way that these murders are happening. Welcome. We aren't open yet, though. Come on, Mama. I've got something for you, Ryuki. Yeah? What? It's <gasps> hard, and it'll leave a mess all over your hands. I know exactly what Mama's talking <laughs> about. It's chocolate. Uh, That's what I was going to say. Yeah, it's I'm Valentine's sure. It's Valentine's Day. I wanted I all my customers to get some. Inside the box is something hard. Play with it too much and you'll be left with a mess in your hands. Oh, my Tamagotchi. <laughs> Great time for you to respond. What fish do you like? These are all the same questions. Fine, I'll say tuna this time, even though I hate tuna. I like getting into holes, if you know what I mean. What are you talking about? Oh, don't make me say- You mean... Spelunking! That has nothing to do with the bar counter. True. The spine says, best eats in the spirit world. What? Ryuki! Want to see a video of balls getting hit with a hard stick? Ooh, I'm curious. Baseball? It's just billiards. Oh. Billiards also works too. I was thinking baseball. Special you pinchos. thought of cricket. That huh. also works too. I'd like to taste your pinchos too. Oh. Well then. Hand warmer traitor. It's about four boys who go on a journey with a hand warmer that's holding a dangerous substance. They're telling me to count the alcohol bottles again. <sighs> Did you count the number of bottles? Good math practice. Good job. I hate this game. All right. I feel like because we ended the well, yesterday's stream with Mama, we're going to end today's stream with Mama. <laughs> 